Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome to Small Land Early Access Survive the Wilds. This is episode one. We are live. I'm going to go ahead and say hello to everybody really quickly and then we're going to dive right into this game really fast. The embargo has lifted. I am now free to play this game with y'all. Thank you very much for coming in. I see there's a bunch of people in here. I appreciate y'all. Melora777, how you doing? Canadian Guy18, hello, hello. Junior uh, or JR0349, Becky Bender, Brooklyn Bella. Philip K. Let's see who else is in here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Dave and Cor Dave Corbin, uh, Nick Wilmot, M Wilmot, um, Holly Monger. Let's see. Kai Haku Ray. Let's see. E. Paul Anderson. What's up, Paulie? How you doing? And I think that's it. If I missed you, D. Rabbits, how you doing, buddy? Uh, if I missed y'all. Honey, I shrunk the usual. That's funny. Hey, Kuja, what's up? All right, guys, if I missed you, let me know. I'll say hello to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now, right now. I'm going to go ahead and do a new character. And let's see. This one's called Joe Usual. I'm just going to call this guy Joe. Joe 2. We'll call him Joe 2. And uh, so the the, uh, the character the character body types are not that, much, not that different for these, uh, these, these small people. Uh, this, the, so, you know, we're just going to go male, uh, with head. I mean, there's the, the there's a, we can scroll in so you can see female, regular, female, gentle, female, strong, regular, male, gentle, male, male, strong. So we're just going to go, uh, male, regular. I'm going to leave him like he is. I think that the ears, you have different kinds of ears you can go with. Um, we're just going to go with the pointed tragus eyebrows. Uh, you can do different eyebrows. Um, I like the straight eyebrows. It's fine. Beard. We're going to go with the full beard. Of course we are. Why would I not? You got sideburns. You got the old ways, which is <laughs> Mennonite, I guess. Uh, mustache. You got chops like uh, Mr. Moon. And we got a goatee. So um, actually we'll go with goatee. Now I'll go with the full beard. All right. So uh, beard color. We're going to go with hazelnut and antenna. I'm going to go with the uh, the... Clavet, you can do some different things here. I, I like that one because it's small. Antenna color is, you know, we got, we got teal, purple, orange, red, and green. We'll go with teal. Hair, we're going to go with, uh, the short hair is fine. There's some different hairs you can do. I don't know with the helmets whether that's going to clip through or not. I don't think it does. Ponytail, short on the sides, bald. We're going to go with short hair. Uh, hair color, we're going hazelnut, and eyes, we'll go with, um, you, can go, you can't really see the eyes, so it doesn't really matter, uh, because you're never going to see these eyes. I mean, somebody else might see your eyes. I don't think I'm going to see these eyes ever, so I don't think it really matters, so we'll just go with blank. Eye color will be blue. Dark blue? No. No. We'll just stick with emerald, I guess. Uh, skin color, we'll go with fair. Um, obviously, there are different colors you can go with. You can go purple. You can go uh, blue, sylvan, which is I guess is a, is a greenish tint. Inflamed, as uh, you could be a demon if you wanted to be. I'm gonna go with fair. And face markings, you uh, there are some uh, there are some face markings, which you could do if you want to do tribal tattoos. I'm not gonna bother with that, and that's what we're gonna do right there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to go with peaceful mode. And the reason for that is because the creatures will not attack you, but will fight back if attacked. Now, the thing about this is if you don't have this turned on right off the bat, if you don't have this turned on, everything's coming for you. You don't have any armor. You don't have any weapons. You don't have any tools. You don't have any resources. Everything's coming for you. It will aggro on you. And they will kill you time and time and time and time again. Now, if I do attack something or hit it, it will be fine. It will come after me. Okay, but if I don't, it ju they'll just leave me alone. So that gives you more of an, a fighting chance in the beginning. You can always turn it off if you want. We're going to go ahead and start right now. A new world. We're going to do new world. And we'll go, uh, we're going to call this uh, usual land two. Or usual land live. Let's do that. And there we go. And I've got usual land, which I was playing for my video th today. By the way, just so you guys know, when I logged in last night, Every last one of my saves was uh, deleted. It was wiped. 
So all my all my progression that I had that I was talking about all week long, yeah, it's gone. So um, they did an update on the game yesterday, and for some reason, all of my stuff is gone. So I had to start over. I do have a video coming out after the live stream about the first day tips and tricks, um, that uh, I, one of which I just shared with you, the peaceful mode. Uh, that'll be out um, after. I'll make that go live after the live stream. So, um, But anyway, um, we'll go ahead and start this right now. Boop, there we go. And we begin. It doesn't matter because I know where everything is. They've added, on the update, they added some, did I manage to make the videos first? No, I didn't get them finished. <laughs> I was almost done with three videos and none of them got done because I, because I, couldn't, I couldn't access my stuff. 50 hours of gameplay down the tubes. Intrepid vanguards, your queen is ill, gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever the cost. Be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Vladimir's, Vladimir's speech to the Vanguard Corps. And here we are in the underground. We're in the underground right here. Um, by the way, the story is not finished, but there is a fin there is a story. By the way, you can go first person, you can go third person, uh, just by using the middle mouse button, or, or middle mouse wheel. Scrolling out. That sucks. Well, it's okay. I know where everything is. And my map is completely um, is completely uh, um, open still. So I, I, ha I have everything uncovered. I just, what it did was, it didn't give me, it does, I don't have any of the, uh, the points of interest. I don't have any of the... Um, any of the any of the people that I that I had contact with, and none of the bosses are shown right now. This is the entire map right now, though. It'll get. This is just a. This is like a, uh, a piece of paper map. When I go outside, you'll see the real map. Okay, it looks different. All right, so we're gonna go here. Talk to Sent uh, Sentinel Virgil. Greetings. I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows, as I have crucial information to impart. Keep a keen eye trained on for these owl effigies. They're scattered throughout the area and provide useful t t hints and tips to help you survive. Outside, you'll find uh, Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first days outside the burrows. And the owl he's talking about is this one right here. Okay, you, the, this has got the tips and the tricks. Overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Uh, press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources much easier. I never use that, but this is what it looks like. So we see we have twigs, we have sprouts. Uh, well, you want to get all this stuff. And we hit V again to stop that because uh, it blinds you, okay? Even though it shows you the name of stuff, it's blinding. I don't care for it, but you know what? If you like it, go ahead and use it, of course. So, I just got some wood. We unlocked the wood hatchet and the wood club. I got, went and got the, uh, some fiber, and we got a builder's hammer. And right now, we're going to go ahead and hit the tab button, and I'm going to go to crafting. I can't get it quite yet. I need some more wood. All right, so this, uh, this is what the wood looks like. Hold, just press and hold down the F button. If you just press it, it drops it on the ground. If you hold it down, you pick it up. So, uh, so the, this is resin right here. So, hold it down, and, and, and there you go. I, it just goes right in my inventory. So we're just going to go like this. I'm going to gather every last piece of material I can get my hands on right now because it's going to be important here in a minute. Survival game. I'll never throw anything away. You're going to need it. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged into your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and, and select the compendium section to see all the hints and tips the owl effigies have already revealed to you. So right like that, I hit the tab button, go to compendium, and this is what they've shown me so far, in case I forget. All right, and the codex is when I find, um, when I find different creatures and whatnot. So, oh wait, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, no, that's not true. That's not true, when, I, when you unlock things, it will show you when it's unlocked. Like this is Hearn, we talked about him. He's gonna be, he's the first crafter that you, uh, your armor crafter that you come across. He's gonna be outside. Uh, he can craft padded bracers, which will give you a little bit better cold protection, and light gauntlets, which will make you a little bit faster. That's two percent each for all, for each of the three pieces. Um, there are techni there are normally four pieces because you have a helmet. There's no helmet for these two. And every time you, you you unlock something, it'll show in this area here. 
So you'll know if there's something else that you haven't unlocked just due to, uh, due to uh, the question mark. If it's still there, there's something you haven't unlocked, okay? So that's, and there's question marks here. We'll unlock all that stuff. I don't know if we'll get, it, get to it all today, but we'll get to a lot of it. So, because I know where everything is, so I'm going to be pretty quick about this. All right. Uh, press tab to open the inventory and codex and keep track of all the workstations and items that you can craft at each. I just showed you that. You can also check which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Like, yeah, like on the codex here, not only does it tell you, I got to scroll back up, hang on. And you do have to scroll. I don't know if, you, if there's a way to make this faster. You can go and it'll show you what materials you need for what armor pieces. Like these are just fiber. These are just fiber, right? I'm not going to have him make me any. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going for stone armor right off the gate, right out of the gate. Because stone, stone armor is much better. And I can mitigate my cold. I'll show you how in a little bit. All right, so this one here. The burrows are, it is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incre incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, envi inviting atmosphere. I'll grab all this. These are some uh, some insect eggs. We can use those. Uh, when you can use them for food, but you need them for crafting too. So, all right, go up here. These you can't get into. You can talk to these guys, but they don't really have much to say, so I'm not going to worry about it. And this is the exit right here, guys. Okay, so. If you don't have a bed, or if you're not, if you don't, if the bed that you had gets destroyed and you die, or you log out and you log back in, if you don't have a bed, this is where you're going to spawn, okay? Until you can claim your first tree, okay? When you, when you claim your first tree, you'll spawn at your tree, or at the top. But right now we don't have a tree. I don't have a bed just yet, so we're just gonna. So if I die, this, that's where I'm going to spawn back at. Let's go here. Get some more wood. Get some fiber. Okay, so we got a couple more owls here. And if you pass by them, they should hoot at you. It's not hooting at me. I don't know why. That's fine. You can lose health due, for, due, due to a variety of factors being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from a great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished, or sleeping. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention to when it comes to low, when it becomes low, and manage it carefully uh, to not leave yourself vulnerable. There are potions that gives you more stamina too, as well as uh, extra health and all kinds of stuff. Once we get the apothecary station open, that's gonna be that's gonna happen with that. So um, that'll, that'll we should see some of that today. All right, so. Press the M to open up the map and see your position in the, in the overland. Adding custom markers to your map also sh uh, will show up on your compass, which is at the top of your screen. Compass at the top of the screen will show you uh, which direction you are facing at any given time. So if I go to the map now, this map, I guess it's not looking. I thought it was looking to look a little better. For some reason, it's not looking like it. Uh, maybe it was always like this. So if I want to see where Hearn is, I just click on this, left click on it. And then I, you can see on the top of my screen is my, is my compass. You can see his face. When you log out and log back in, that stuff's going to disappear. So, now not on the map, but my, but the, but this will disappear when I log back out and log back in. He's right here, so we know where he is. It's not a big deal. Hang tight. All right. So, Armor provides protection against different types of damage and can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. Just like him. Hearn says, Greeting, Vanguard. Welcome to the overland. I am Captain Ernest uh, Manakabi. But most small folk, small folk just call me Hearn. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, i got to ask some questions. What do you want to know? What is the Overland? The Overland is what we call the world on the surface, a very dangerous place. Here you won't find all the comforts of the burrows. You'll have to find food and construct shelter to survive. What, to what tools should I craft? 
I suggest you try by crafting a wood club, a builder's hammer to build yourself a shelter, and a wood hatchet to harvest food and other natural resources from the overland. You can craft these basic items without a workbench. You just need to have enough materials. The oak forest is rich in fiber and wood, so keep your eyes peeled for them. You can also get useful resources from hunting creatures. How do I build a shelter? You need to craft a builder's hammer, and once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware. Weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. All your stuff has to be covered, guys. Uh, when I played this, I lost my forge, and I lost my third-tier cooking, uh, or my oven. It was not cool. Is there a carry weight? No, but you do have a limit on your, on your inventory. There's no carry weight. Where do I find food? You'll find food all around you. You just have to learn what it can be eaten and what can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of them can be very tasty. Creatures? Yuck. Sacred Owl Vanguard. Have you never eaten anything but leaves? Some creature organs are delicious. And if you don't like them that raw, then you can always cook them. You should build yourself a campfire and try. Build a campfire? First, you need to craft a builder's hammer, and once you have one, you can equip it to start building. But where? Weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. All right. All right, so can you craft some armor for me, Captain? Sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all the necessary materials. All right, this is, and this is how it, you just got to ask them. And the, and now, some armor, you have to go and you have to take out um, the bosses to be able to get the materials for them. So be aware. Let's see what else we got. Um, I was told to report to you for my assignment. Ah, uh, yes, I've been expecting you. The elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in the cave just down the hill. Thank you, Captain. I'm ready to go. I'm not going to get that armor from him. And now I want to see what time it is, so I'm hitting M for map. And it looks like the sun is just past this arrow. That's noon. So it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon right there. Um, there is no time. There's no clock in this game. But that's how you tell the time. All the stuff you're seeing here is the stuff that's in my, my tip videos, guys. Uh, you're going to see all that stuff. But if you want to go watch a tip video, you can. I would appreciate it. All right, gather all this. And I think that's all. Wait, 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 wait. There's another owl. Small fork are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted out of the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you'll need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Open the crafting menu with G and uh, see which items uh, you can craft from, from the get-go. Or you can go like this, hit tab, and hit crafting. That's what, I, that's what I do. It's fine. But you can hit the G button as well. And then G to get out of it. So it's easier. It's a little quicker. Make sure you eat and drink regularly. Be well, being well nourished will make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. You can find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures from the overland, of the overland for food, or even cook your own meals. You can eat food raw or prepare it with other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. Keep an eye out for tasty recipes. Yeah, what happens is when you make a thing, you might learn a thing. So if you don't know a thing, you should try to make another thing, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Um, you learn things by making things. So, um, and the uh, our, our 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 elders right in that little cave right there. Stay away from deep water. Small folk cannot swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. The tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. So, if I were to jump in this water right now, my my um, my my um, tombstone would be right here, somewhere around here. All right, and I would spawn back at my last spawn point. So uh, you, you, you want to make sure you have, you know, you have a, a spawn point close to where you're working at all times. At all times. So anyway, yeah, this, this is my inventory. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 4. So that's 36. Right? 32. Temperature will generally drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Uh, also, some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed and set a spawn point so you have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night, and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered, and there must be no hostile creatures around. That's kind of loosey-goosey right now. Oh, well, any hostile creatures around. Yeah, no, with the uh, peaceful mode, you can sleep pretty much wherever. 
I'm going to gather all the rest of this stuff. We need all this material. All of it. Every last bit. I would go and if you play this game, I would not skimp on getting it. This stuff respawns really quickly, so there's no reason to grab not to grab it all. It'll come back in like a half a day. Well, no, most, some things only come back when it rains, but some materials come back all the, I mean, just like really quick. Like half a day, three quarters of a day, something like that. I'm sure that's going to change. They're going to balance this, but for right now, you, it, it, resources are really, really uh, prevalent. Morning, Chad. Uh, Thank you for taking the time for streaming. You can't wait for this game to come out. We stream in tips, uh, uh, video, uh, gonna make life a lot easier. It should, I mean, I, I the, the, the video is only for the first day, but yeah, it, it'll, it should be helpful. You're going to see it here. Everything that I said in that video here today. All right. So here's the elder. Vanguard, finally you're here. Elder, wh uh, what are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Who's the apothecary? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. What's in the chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you have any idea who might have taken the clover key? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill, and the clover key was needed, but it could have been it could have happened some time ago. Have you tried forcing the chest open? We dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced, and we would risk destroying the elixir within. Well, I was told you were requested my presence, Elder. Ah, yes. We've received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the clover key? It is an interesting coincidence. But we have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. Of course there is. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with, a dan with danger. Hearn and Caleb can help you survive here in the Overland. All right. Anyway, so he didn't. all he did was just give me uh, where Caleb is. This is the guy who, has, who makes the stone armor. This is the armor we're going to use right out at the gate. That's why I didn't get Hearn's armor, because I like this armor better. So. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to just keep on gathering material. What time is it? All right, it's going to get dark here in a second, so we're going to slap down a bed in a second. But. I want to go get that stone armor, but I need to make, um, I got to make some, uh, some stuff first, though. As usual in, um, in survival games, all the beginning tools and, and weapons are crap. They're garbage. They're just no good. Oh, hang on. I got to, I got to get some, I got to get some mushrooms. So let's go ahead and go here. Let's go ahead and go crafting. I'm going to make a wood hatchet. I'm going to make a builder's hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna make a club because we're gonna we're gonna make something different in a minute. I'm gonna make a torch in case I gotta I gotta see. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the axe out. That'll be one. I know no 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 that'll go into two, and the hammer will go into one. What I like to do? Oh, I already made a club. I didn't want to make a club. Did I get a club? Oh, I don't care about that. I'll put that there though, and I'm gonna put the torch in the four slot. These are bandages that I was given. Oh, I, I got a club automatically. Put that in the seven slot. Um, and then what I, what I like to do is I like to move this stuff so it coincides with it, its partner above. So I kind of know what I've got going on. Now, these, when you log out and log back in, you'll have to readjust these because they, they for some reason, it just rearranges stuff in my inventory whenever I, uh, so I've got mushroom steaks, but I don't want mushroom steaks. We want to, uh, I'm going to use my hatchet. Okay, I just learned a campfire, workbench, simple bed, and simple chest because I crafted that stuff. So...
And we're almost out of food, so we gotta hurry. Because like I said before, whenever you, um... Whenever you run out of, uh, food, you... I mean, I didn't say it. You start losing health as soon as you run out of food. I've got 18 out of 100, so... But, okay, now you could eat these mushrooms raw. You could eat them raw. You could. Oh, right here. Oh, I already have mushroom se mushroom steak. Never mind. That's what I was going to make. See the little fork and knife next to next to the uh, the thing? That means it's already prepared food. So I'm going to eat that. It'd give me 30. I'm going to eat the other one. Give me 30. All right. So there's no water in this game as far as you. You don't have to drink, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and break out the hammer real quick because it's raining. Right click. Go to foundations. I'm going to put the foundation right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to building. I'm going to go to the wall, which is right there. And then I'm going to go to the roof, which is right here. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to right-click again. We're going to go back to interactive. I'm going to go ahead and go to the simple bed. Put the simple bed right there. That way I have, um, I've got a bed. I'm going to activate my spawn point. It is getting dark. And I have food in my belly, so I'm just going to go to bed. So we're going to hit the, the use button. And we fall into a deep slumber. Although you can't see my body because I... I because of the, the way it is. Okay, now it's morning time. Look how quick that was. All right, so um, I don't care about this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my hammer again. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to hit C, 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 C. And then I go up here. I'm just going to collect all my resources. You get them all back, unless they fall under, in, underneath the world, which happens sometimes. But most of the time, you get all your materials back, which is great. Not like Ark, where you get half back, or some games where you don't get anything back. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start a fire right quick, actually. Let's go ahead and make a campfire right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, the, put this away. I have some mushrooms, so we're going to make some mushroom steak. I can make three. That way I've got some food. I don't have to mess with it. So now I've got five, oh, three more mushroom steaks. That's great. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the, this and then go boop. Whoops. Nope. Sorry. Hit C. Get rid of that. Keep that. Now, I always say you should always have a stack of fiber a stack of wood, and a stack of, um, of resin. Because uh, the, uh, the wood and the fiber are what you need to build your shelters and your bed, and the, uh, and the resin you're going to need to make your, your bench, okay? So what I'm going to do uh, wait, hang on, is I've got my hammer out, right-click. We're going to make a workbench right quick. I'm going to place it right here. Now that, I, now that opened up my stone cutter um, uh, bench, okay? Put this away. Now the cool thing about this, you always want to have, uh, you always want to have resin on you because uh, when you make your workbench, it costs five resin, and it costs five resin and then some wood and some and some fiber, okay? Go, you hit F to go into it. Whoops, that's not it. Hit F to go into it, and you can repair your stuff, okay? Now if you if you repair your tools, your weapons, your armor fast enough before it gets too hurt it doesn't cost you any resources to do it so uh, you want to keep your stuff in good repair so like after a fight drop a workbench fix your uh, fix your armor fix your weapons fix your tools I always have what you need to uh to fix your stuff always and it's really good i really like and then you just go like that drop it you know just, just break it down carry your materials and go along your merry way all right so i'm gonna what's this say Okay, participation such as rain or snow can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. I lost, like I said, I lost a forge and I lost a, an oven that way because they, they weren't covered. Um, rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Furthermore, weather affects, uh, weather affects temperature, so be sure to always wear the appropriate clothes. Doesn't matter so much until it becomes winter. There is winter in this game, um, but, you, but when it rains... You do definitely want to put up a shelter immediately when, the, when, they, when the, the game tells you a storm is approaching. Stop what you're doing. Put up a shelter because it will freeze you. You will die really quickly. Super quick. I've died several times that way. It's a big pain in the butt when you die, too. Because then you got to go back to your, your uh, gravestone. you got to get your stuff. Hang on. And here's the thing. Once you, if you die... If you die, and and then you uh, you're going to get your grave, your stuff for your grave, or out of your grave, and because everything that you have on you, except for your armor that you're wearing and whatever you might have in your hand, you lose, and it goes into your gravestone. 
if you die again before you retrieve this stuff from the gravestone, you lose everything. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want that to happen. It's not good. That's not good. All right. By the way, that that that, uh, that uh, tips on the first day is for people who don't, don't want to take the time to watch my live stream. All right, there are five distinct weapon types your vanguard can wield. Blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. The creatures you encounter in the overland have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to each. Pay attention to um, the icon next to their health bar, which determines which health weapon types will be most effective. Now, this is only this is only until you get into the top tier weapons. Once you get into the top tier weapons, they kill almost anything within a couple of hits, except for the bosses. Farshot says, "Having fun. I've had my eye on this game for a long time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like this game. It's like a cross between Ark, um, Conan, and." Uh, grounded. Okay. All right. Now these these ladybugs will not attack you no matter what. You're only gonna get insect fat out of them though. There's nothing useful about them, so I ignore them. I, and they're fast. Like you got to be quick to kill one until you get like higher level. We're going down here because there's a couple of things I need. Go down here to the water. And there's a there's a carpenter ant warrior right there, but I don't have to worry about him because because he uh, they won't attack me unless I attack them. But if I attacked him, there's four other ones out here somewhere. Yeah, see, there's like one, two, three, that one, that one. Uh, come after me. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Not at all. Well, we're gonna get our stone armor before I do anything else. But if you go along this riverbank here, we're gonna be some screws. And you're going to need screws. You're going to need a bottle cap eventually for one of your stations. You need screws for your stations. You can't do anything with that key, I don't think. There's a bottle cap right here. All right. And there's the there's another screw right there. All right. So now I've got that. we got to need to get across this creek. So Or two creeks, really. Let's see here. So, okay. So I've got plenty of room in my inventory. So, and these are these stones are harvestable. Once I have a pick, I need at least a mand a mandula bar pickaxe, at least. And so I got to go get not the, these little ants. They won't give you an ant mandible. You need the uh, you need a, a big red ant, and we'll kill him in a minute. Can I make a sword? Yet. Hang on. Let me drop a. Let me drop a um, a, a chest right quick. I mean a workbench. Where is my sword? There it is. Wood sword. Okay, so make a wood sword. Uh, did I ha do I have a hatchet? I've got a hatchet. I got a club. Let's make a couple more bandages. Those are only two fiber each. I won't be long before I have a better bandage, so I'm not going to do that. Um, not going to worry about the uh, the bow right now because this simple bow kind of sucks. Um, but this pickaxe right here, I need uh, all I need is a bull ant mandible, and I can make it. Uh, there is fire arrows here. I haven't made fire arrows, but insect fur comes from uh, like bees. So, oh, what's a ladybug travel kit? What's this? This kit includes a special treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpacks designed to uh, attach to their fore wings, providing additional storage space. This was not in here before. I did not see this before. Any edible mushrooms and nectar? Oh, we're going to tame a ladybug. I did not know. That that was going to be there. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, that's interesting. All right, well, that's cool. I didn't I didn't know that existed. That had to be new from the last update. Maybe not. Maybe I just missed it. It's possible. Anyway, I did put my original base on top of this tree here. This stump. It's just a stump. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Use bows and arrows to hit creatures from afar. They, this can be particularly effective against flying creatures. To use a bow, you must have both a bow and arrows equipped. Draw your bow holding the left mouse button and then release it. Or right mouse button and then release it to shoot the arrow. Um, different bows have different characteristics. Some are more accurate and more powerful than others. For maximum strength and accuracy, be sure you have a full, to fully draw the bow before releasing. Now, um, yeah, the problem with the bow in this game is that uh, it works fine. 
Uh, but they're the the like that simple bow, not accurate at all. But um, you have to be close up. And if you if you can get yourself into a position where you can fire down from above, and the creature can't get to you, it runs away. So that's a pain in the ass. They don't they don't aggro on you like other other games and just like get themselves stuck. It doesn't happen. The AI in this game is a little bit smarter than that. So, all right. So anyway, guys, you will drown if you if you if you uh, if you get into water for too long. But right here, right here behind this this uh, this this owl tree, we can jump this just barely. See how the camera shakes? That's telling you that you are almost in trouble. <laughs> All right, so hang on. I have um, a sword, so we're gonna I'm gonna take this this torch down. Actually, we'll put the sword in the four slot. Actually, I don't care about that club, so I'm gonna uh, hit Control and left click and get rid of that. I'm gonna put this sword in the three slot. Let's put this sword right there. I'll kill, still keep my torch right there. Probably not gonna need the torch for a while, but that's okay. See all these ants? You attack one, they all attack you. You don't want that. That's why the peaceful mode is so important. All right, so once again, we're gonna go talk to uh, Caleb. He's just around the corner right here. He's our stone stone armor armorer. Armorer. These lights denote um, that there's something important around. Um, can big candle stubs too. So, all right, and here he is. He's right up in here. There he is. And that icon that was on my map is above his head, so you don't miss him. All right, Caleb. Hello, Van God. I'm Corporal Caleb Stein. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm responsible for escorting and protecting small folk miners. Well, what's that armor you're wearing? It's one I made myself using rocks I found in the mine. It's incredibly durable and provides great protection against creatures you may encounter in the shore. Speaking of which, Scotty has also found uh, fashioned uh, uh, some remarkable armor using resources found from that area. Can you make me uh, one for me too? All right, so I'm going to need, hang on, let me pull it up because I've got it all written down. Uh, stone armor is going to require 40 stone, that's 4 zero, 21 fiber, and 8 resin. So I just need stone. Okay. Hang tight. Okay, so uh, okay, so you hit uh, F to go between talk and craft, or C to go between talk and crafting. What happened here? Why is no one working the mine? A tragedy. One of the tunnels collapsed, and most of the miners perished. The mining operations are on hold for now. Do you know anything about stone working? I know a thing or two. To work stone, you'll need to build a stone uh, a cutter grinder. Uh, we don't have the resources to make a proper one up here, but. You may be able to craft one, uh, craft a makeshift cutter grinder by using some of the giant's artifacts like bottle caps and screws, which is what we just picked up. Where can I find those? Well, you know where we can find them because I just picked them up. What else can I make with a cutter grinder? You know, uh, okay, you can use it as a grinder to make seed oil out of seeds or wood to, uh, uh, and sand wood to obtain refined wood. Heck, you can even cut flint and craft new weapons and tools. All right, can I harvest these stones? Sure, but you need a pickaxe. Those are expensive, and we're not, we're not just handing them out right now. You might be able to make yourself one, though. You see some of these ants, the red ones, have some surprisingly strong mandibles. And if you can get one out of those, you can bring it to a workbench and try to make one yourself, at, uh, make yourself a pickaxe from it. All right. And he's telling me that I can find the ants just down the street. We're going to go get one. And then off we go. Actually, you know what? I can use their... Sometimes you can use their fire... Can't use this guy's fire for whatever reason. The crafter in the wood in the in the swamp, I can use her hers. I don't know why I can't use his. Okay, so there's uh, we got some red ants down here. Oops. So we'll go down here. There's a, there's a okay. So the the thing I got to worry about is is them being uh, together, all right? Because I don't I don't feel like getting killed. Break out my sword, my little wooden sword. I want him to be by himself because otherwise I'm going to get bum rushed. There we go. You ready? Right. Okay, he didn't even turn around. That's great. All right, I got two bull, uh, uh, mand bull mandibles. Uh oh, I hear he's coming after me. He's coming after me. He's behind me. Oh shit! Gotta go. No.
Okay, wait, now I can get him. Oh, no, he went down. That's fine. I don't need it. All right, let's go ahead and let's uh, break out our hammer. Right click. Make this uh, this workbench right fast. And then make the uh, pickaxe. Boom, there it is. I'm going to put that in the sixth slot. Now I can bust stone. Pull that back out. Hit C, get my materials back. Well, I'm almost out of food, so let's go ahead and let's eat a couple of steaks. 30, 60, and that's 90. That'll do me for the rest of the day. What time is it? All right, it's, it's, it's getting in the afternoon. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's bust out our pick. Now, this, this, this rock I can't break, but this round one I can. It'll show you if you can. And I need 40 stone. Which means I gotta I gotta bust between 20, uh, 15 and 20 rocks. There should be enough here to get my armor. Now, ideally, you want uh, you want um, uh, you want winged armor. Morning, article. How you doing? All right, and let's go over here. Like I said, ideally, ideally you want winged armor, but it takes a lot to get make make the first set of winged armor. I say first set. You can do either one in order or out of order. It doesn't matter what order uh, armor you make or you get. If you have the materials, you can get it. But you're gonna have to probably there's there's a there's an order you probably would make your life easier if you did it. Okay, how much stone do I have now? I've got 20. All right, I need 20 more. Now, I don't want to damage my um, my pick too much because I don't want to have to use materials. So, what I'll do... I'm just going to... Collision my butt. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, game. Okay, if, you, if, it's, if it's colliding like that, you can actually hit the T button to open up this placement option. And you can go here or there. It'll move it around. And placement, uh, I, I don't know about that. It's, I think that's, I mean, this, will, this will snap if it'll let it. But I don't really care for that. So I guess it's not going to work right here. Some places, because you're too, you're too close to a, to a crafter, sometimes it won't let you do stuff. And it makes an excuse for it too, so. See? Alright. So let's go ahead and let's repair. The sword didn't cost anything, and the pickaxe didn't cost anything to fix it. All right, so, oops, get up. Okay. Actually, nah. The poisonous mushrooms, you can, uh, you can, you can boil them. They don't give you very much food, though. Although they are an ingredient in some stuff. So, but they're everywhere. You don't have to worry about that. And that's down the road quite a bit. A lot of stamina. There are stamina potions. There are health potions. There are uh, anti-poison potions. I just got to get, get the uh, the apothecary uh, set up. And then get the materials for it. Now, see that ant right there? These guys are going to try to be sneaky. What they'll do is they'll come over like they're curious, and they're gonna get close to you. And if you're swinging your pick like I am, sometimes they'll 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 bump into you, and then they'll at, and you'll hit them, and then you have a fight on your hands. Other times, if you're on the edge of a cliff, they'll come up behind you and they'll push you, try to push you off the cliff. So you got to be careful. Just because you're in peaceful mode doesn't make it peaceful, because some of these guys are little punks. All right. I saw another stone over here. I did see another stone. Do I have 40? I got 50. All right, that's cool. Come on. All right. I'm going to stop explaining stuff that I've already explained because you guys know what I'm talking about. 
All right, let's get our stone armor. Then we get out of here. All right, I need... Actually, what I can do is I can hit... Um, you can hit F. No, not F. It's C. To go from talk to crafting. You don't need to do that, but you, but, you know, you can. So anyway, stone fiber resin, stone fiber resin, stone fiber resin, stone fiber resin. Got it all. Okay, now how much more stone do I have left? Ten? That's okay. There's plenty of there's plenty of um, of rocks around here. So uh, there's that. There's a stone breast. There is the stone van braces and the stone greaves. So this is uh, let's see cold protection of three each. So that's twelve versus the nine from the other armor that I just showed you. Remember? Oh no, it was nine. No, no, sorry, that was nine, nine, and nine. Oh, was it nine, nine, and nine? Whatever. It doesn't matter with the cold protection for right now. Okay, so piercing resistance and protection. Uh, piercing resistance is negative 3% on this. Protection is 2. Still not great, but it's better than what you had. So, I'm going to, I guess I'll dump this. No, nah, I'll leave them. No, I'm not. We're going to, we're going to drop these. Traveler's legs are going away. Traveler's gauntlet's going away. Traveler's torso is going away. And then that leaves me some room here to play with. Six. Uh, okay, I don't have any food on me, so we got. We should probably now we've got our stone armor. By the way, that's what it looks like. Doesn't it look cool? Not nearly as cool as some of the other armor, though. All right, so what I feel like I want to do is I want to claim that tree. We're gonna go back and claim that tree. Oh, I don't want to drop down here. Well, I could. I could. There, fall damage is a real thing, though, by the way, so be careful. All right. We're going to jump back across. Oh, actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. Watch this. This is a trick. They're going to fix it. If you're, like, really far away from where you were, you can quit the main menu. You don't have to run. You can save yourself a little bit of time if you're all the way across the map. And you don't, and, and what it'll do is it'll, get, it'll put you back at your last... Um, your last bed location or if you don't have a bed like I don't have a bed right now it'll put you back make sure you hit that peaceful mode it'll put you back at the cave entrance if you haven't uh, but, or if you've claimed a tree it'll put you at the tree at the top It's the closest thing to a fast travel that they've got in this game. See? All right. Now that I've, now I've got my armor, we're going to make ourselves a, a real quick camp. See, all this stuff already respawned. All this stuff already respawned. I'm not going back down there right now, but um, we're going to go back behind this cave. Because i got to get it over to that tree. So i got to go up. Oh. And you can get up this way on this rock. If you're agile. There we go. And that's the tree I want to claim. But I'm going to need a couple of things. I'm just going to place... Let's see. I'm going to place... Uh, just a single foundation... I don't really think I need any more than this right now. Because we're going to build up in the tree. And I want my materials. I want to keep my materials. So, And then we'll do a bed. Alright, there's that. And this way if I fall out of the tree, I'm right here. You know what I mean? Is it almost dark? Alright, it's almost dark. We're going to go sleep. All right, so we jump up here. I really need to get some food made, though. But hang on a second. Before I do anything else, let's make some food. I could eat these blackberries. It's eight nourishment. That's not a lot. I, you get a lot more when you cook them, but I don't have the I don't have the stuff for it right now. Um, 
it's blackberries and um, honey nuggets or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, so. All right. Hey, Nick, how's it going? All right, so. From the viewpoint of a micro person, yeah, we're the littles, man. We're little people. All right, so you got to get to the top of the tree, guys. It's quite, it's quite the journey. I'm going to have to build some um, foundations and whatnot. Like right here. Like I don't think I can get up to the top here. Oh, I can get to the top. Shoot, man. I built a foundation last time for it. Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't trust this one, though, because I don't want to fall. So I'm going to break out my hammer. Let's go foundation. And stairs. There we go. Some of those you can't put you can't put foundations on because uh, of the, the way the clip is. Or maybe you'll be able to put a foundation on, but you can't put a, a stair on there. All right. Up I go. Sorry to hear that, Nick. There we go. Now, I put a foundation here, too, because I don't trust this jump. I think I, could, I would be able to make it, but we're going to go ahead and just, because um, I've got the materials, we're just going to do it this way. Actually, you know what I can do? We can put a, a floor right there. I think it, it might not let me. This would be fine, though. This will be the only time I come up this thing. And this is the only time you're going to have to climb a tree, too. The trees, um, once you get to the top of the first one, you won't, you won't ever have to climb a tree like this again on, in single player. It's the only time you're going to have to. You got to be careful, though. The way these are angled, you can actually lose your footing and, and fall down, which is not great, not fun. I've died more than once in this, this stupid, these stupid mushrooms, man. Okay. Go up this. We're almost there, guys. Come on. Okay. And look at this. There's a hot air balloon. Woo! To go to the gnome right here and examine him. And it says, the spirit of the great tree is listening. What do you wish, Vanguard? I want to claim this tree. You claim the great tree. The tree encampment is private. Okay. You can make it public if you want with the with that gnome right there. All right. This is where your building spot is, guys. This is home. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I guess I will go ahead and we'll break out our hammer. Let's go ahead. And, ha and how much stuff do I have on me? Hang on. I've got. I don't have a ton. Like I need way more fiber than I've got. But we have enough to, we can make ourselves a little, uh, a little house. Um, actually, I'm just, I think I'll may, maybe I'll just, um, just build a foundation right here. This is going to be the beginning of my, of my workshop. And there's no squirrels and no birds in the game right now. Although I think they're probably going to put them in the game sooner or later. Okay, I've got room to go back. That's good. And let's go ahead and let's go with a couple of stairs.
We're going to change that out eventually, but right now, right now that's fine. And then we'll go with some walls. Oh, no, I want windows. Windows are cheaper. I think. Pretty sure. No, they're the same. They're the same, but they look nicer. And then we'll go... It only takes one fiber. Or, or Wait. Where's the... Oh, what the, he, They changed it. Maybe it was always two. I thought it was only one. You have to cover your stuff, because if you don't cover your stuff, guys, uh, the weather will destroy it. Destroy it. And we'll put a second floor on this eventually because um, some of the materials don't, or some of the uh, the stations don't, don't work. If oh, did I back? Is that backwards? There we go. Some station. Oh, I'm out of materials. All right. Well, shoot. That's fine. That works for now. And I don't even have enough. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna. I gotta, I gotta destroy some of this stuff because I don't have enough materials for even uh, containers. Hang on. It's a good thing you get all your stuff back. I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll just. I'll just pop all this stuff off, dude. That way I've got enough for some containers. I mean, we knew we were light, and I just went crazy. All right, so this is all you need to cover. So let's go ahead and go with um, a simple chest. I'll go. Let's go with this one first. We'll put this one here. I don't think it really matters where I put it. We're going to change it out anyway. You can stack them too high, but it's kind of wonky in its placement. I would rather if it snapped, but that's okay. And that's good enough for now. Those two are, are fine for right now. And I'll go ahead and let's plot. See, I, I said I wanted uh, one wood, uh, one stack of resin, and one stack of fiber. But I don't have enough fiber, so that's fine. Everything else is going to just be thrown in here for right now. Just to empty my, empty my uh, inventory. All right. We're, oh, I got to go get some food. I'm out of food. Hang on. Okay, once you're ready to go down, you just go over here to the tree butler and go, um, um, okay, take me down to the root level, please. I'm ready to go. Have I tried fro frozen flame? No, I have not. Oh, I know why I didn't play that. It's because I, re I requested a, a key from them and they rejected me. So, that's what they get. <laughs> they don't need me. If they needed me, they'd offer me a key. All right? <laughs> and that's kind of a crappy attitude, but I didn't really... You know, it, it, that game didn't excite me um, hardly at all. So, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's grab... Uh, oh, I need a crude hatchet. That's right, I forgot about that. I'm going to have to get some... Um, have to get some stuff. But I can get this guy over here. This is rye. And I'll go ahead and take this down. This will give me some fiber and also some seeds. All right, there's some seeds and some fiber. You see how that grasshopper came and, and just skirted right by me? If I would have hit him, I, I, the the game or the uh, the uh, what call it would have been on. All right. 
So now what's going to happen, guys, is, I'll, th th okay, that's my tree right there. But if I go over to, like, this tree right here, if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to live over here in this tree, I could go ahead and um, I could, all I got to do is get to the platform and tell the, and tell the, the gnome that I want to live there. And I can, I, and I can transfer my whole entire base to that tree right there. Any of these trees that are around here that you can, you can, um, that you can claim, you can, you can uh, turn into your, your base, and it transfers everything over. It's really nice. All right. There are five mounts, four or five mounts, in the game right now. There's the grasshopper. There is the um, the mayfly. There is the gecko, and there is the wolf spider. Um, in the first up, I, I don't know if you can. I don't think you can um, ride the ladybug. If you can, it's a flyer. It should be a flyer. See, I gotta watch out for all these ants that are around here because they're gonna they're gonna try to be sneaky. And I, if, I, if I get if I hit one, all of them are gonna attack me. So. They're like, oh, I'm just being curious. Yeah, you are. Sure you are. See? See that noise? See what he's doing? He's blocking me. He's ant blocking me. I'm being blocked, man. All right. So, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and let's, um, let's make a fire right fast. If I can. I just saw it. There it is. Mushroom steaks. All right. That's enough food for right now. For this moment. I got ant blocked. Yep. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and break down this bed over here. Now that we have the, now that we have the tree. Sometimes it's easier just to, to have a bed down below than it is to, to, uh, to mess with the one above. So oh, it's still, it's still, we still have half the day left. I thought it was almost dark. Now, I've got some time. So let's go. Let's go. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop back down, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to gather all the wood and the fiber from down here again because it's all respawned, and then we'll circle back around the other side of the tree, and I'll come up the other side of the tree, and I'll make a bed of, uh, up in there later. This is why I put my. This is why I prefer to be over here than I than over across the river there. For right now, we're gonna change our our location multiple times in this live stream because of availability of uh, resources. Right now, it's all about the wood and the and the fiber. Pretty soon, it's gonna be all about the flint and the stone. Then it's gonna be all about the metal. It's gonna be uh, it's a whole and they're they're all scattered. All the material. Oh, it's gonna be about clay after a while. Materials are, are scattered everywhere, and they make it. They did it on purpose to make it uh, more playable, and I get it. It's fine, but we know where everything is. Shouldn't take me long to get everything done. Not everything, but to get pretty well established. Definitely a lot less time than it did last time I was here when I started from scratch. What do grasshoppers do? They're a mount. They just they jump, and there's no fall damage. With a grasshopper. Well, actually, I don't know there's any fall damage with, with any of the mounts. I know the spider didn't have fall damage. The mayfly, it flies. I don't know about the gecko. But they definitely need to work on their mounts because the stamina on the mounts sucks. You're better off with a wingsuit right now. They might change it. But right now, I'd rather have a wingsuit than a mount. But we will, we'll, we'll, we'll tame one. We'll tame these guys just so I can I, I can show you what's what. All right, 
Let's go ahead and let's break out. Hang on. I'm going to break this out right quick. And repair my tool. There we go. Okay, it's start. I hear thunder, but I don't. We don't have a notification. A storm approaches. Seek shelter. All right, immediately. We need to go. Hang on. Foundations. Building. Wall. It doesn't matter if it's backwards. I don't care. And we mean not allowed here, man. Come on. God damn it. This fucking thing. Sorry about my my language. This it shouldn't be like this. I'm gonna. This is dangerous right now. All right, let's try this. Watch my temperature, or watch my health. You'll see what I'm talking about. I might get it, we might get it done. All right, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna put this out, and put that away. And I'm gonna show you yeah, it's, it might be dark soon. So when the storm shows up, I'm going to show you about what happens when when you when when you get rained on. If it gives you a warning, you need to heed that warning. But that's all you need for your shelter. It's just a just three pieces. There's nothing to it. Just that right there. All right, while we're waiting on the storm break this stuff down. Right, here we go. The storm is broken. Remain sheltered. Because my shelter's right there. I can go. See, now I'm going down in health. It's because I'm, I'm cold. Now I'm freezing. Look how fast my health's going down. Soon, whoops, even with the torch. Now once I'm sheltered, that all changes. There we go. Takes a minute to change, but it changes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna eat a uh, uh, steak and get my food up, and then all of a sudden this pops r up really, really fast. There we go, now we're better. The mayfly might be a great mount. None of them are good. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. The mayfly and the grasshopper are not great at all. The uh, I haven't I haven't tamed the gecko and I haven't tamed the wolf spider yet, so I don't really know. Um, I know how to get the stuff for it, but I just um, you gotta you have to kill um, a couple bosses to be able to tame all the creatures. So, all right. So that's all we needed. Break that out. Grab all this. All right. If they gave the, the mounts a little bit more stamina, it would be a lot better creature for sure. Not a little, not not a little more stamina. A lot more stamina. You be hiding underneath that mushroom cap? Yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no bonus for it. But yeah. Oh, hey, where'd you come from, buddy? Hey, come here. You gonna run away from me? Kind of want to. Uh, kind of want to fight you, but come here. You little crapper. 
There we go. down here hey what's up bud if you die you drop everything in your inventory except for what you're holding or wearing all is lot all is not lost though you can retrieve your all your belongings if you make it back to your tombstone if you drown in deep water your tombstone it will spawn at the last bit of solid ground you walked on you already told me that what Why are you telling me say this again huh Well, I'm on the wrong side. I see what I did. I'm on the wrong side of this route right here. And it's almost dark, so let's um what's this guy say? When you dismantle a structure, all the materials used uh, when it was originally built will be dropped and appear in a collection as a collectible loot. Uh or as collectible loot. Damage structures can't be repaired. Can be repaired at no cost. Yep, sure can. All right. So is it, is it almost dark? Yeah, we need to make a bed. All right, it's fine. The days are kind of short too, if you hadn't noticed. But the nights are quick, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, Cedric, what's up? How am I liking the game so far? Well, I played 50 hours in it, so I guess it must be uh, okay. If I didn't like it, you guys wouldn't be seeing it. That's for sure. Unless it was a first look, which is not. All right, so... I guess we'll start trying to make some... Let's go ahead and break out the... Did I not? Did I not fix that? Hang on. I thought I fixed that. There we go. All right. Need some stones. Start making some, um, what do you, what you would call them? Uh, crafting tables in a minute. I can't do anything with that. I think that's permanent. I don't think there's, any, there's ever going to be any way of getting metal off that key. My stamina. There we go. Real quick, let's go ahead and um, let's make mushroom steak. I'm going to keep those ant heads because I'm going to need them. Seven, eight. Nine. The hell? I need three mushrooms. Right. All right. Cool. All right. Let's go grab whatever we can grab on because we're going on the other side of my tree right here. I don't think I need much much more uh, resin. We're about ready to go head out because I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to get some um, some flint and some some more stone. I need to get some herp herp tile hide. Um, 
Go up the great tree. All right. You absolutely 100% are going to want to get a, a, a great tree. You want to claim it like as soon as possible. I can't tell you how much time it's going to save you uh, jumping between resource nodes. Going from tree to tree, claiming, uh, you know, because your whole base moves. So it's really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and let's check out. Let's see what I've got that I can make. Um, I need a bottle cap and a screw for the stone cutter. All right, let's go ahead and make, let's make a bed. I guess I'll just put the bed right here for right now. That's fine. And there we go. That's going to be my spawn point. And then we'll go the workbench, which I will put. All right. Oh, shit. You know what? Hang on. Foundations. Windowed wall. I like them. Little ceiling action happening. And then this crafting table right here. And I need the bottle cap and the screw that I've got in storage. Boom, and then that's the screw. There's my stone cutter. All right, that's going to open up the cauldron, the apothecary table, the tannery, the covered bed, which I don't care about. Uh, the cauldron I do care about. Oh, and the wooden chest. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see. How much more do I have here? I've got a little bit. This should be fine. Let's do another foundation right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that. I'll pull this. Like that, like that, here, come on, there we go, and we'll go like this, right there, right there, you know what, let's just cover it all, this is going to be a, get a lot bigger, before we before before we're done, so there we go, and then let's see here. Interactive. Let's see. I want. I I want. I need a tannery. So I I need flint and refined wood, and that's going to come in a minute. But the cauldron, I need uh, refined wood. So I need to go to the stone cutter, and I've got seeds. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I've got six seeds. We're going to go ahead and grab the seed oil here. Make seed oil, I mean. And then make refined wood with the seed oil. There we go. And then, I, do I, I have any, and I just got the greater stamina tonic uh, at the apothecary table if I, can if I can make it. I don't think I have what it takes. There's that. I got a recurve bow as well that just got learned. Let's see here. There's more wood there. And I'll put that away. That's a, a mandible. I don't care about that. That screw I don't need. Uh, that ant head I'm going to keep. I need three ant heads. No, I need ant heads for some armor. Uh, I might have already answered this question, but uh, can you switch between peaceful mode and if not in the same save? Yes, you can. You can. You can. If you decide you want to, you want to, you're going to get brave, and you want to see how well you can you can take on the world. Yes, you can. 100%. You just log out. Because when you log back in, you have to turn that on every single time. So don't forget that because that will kill you if you don't. Well, we're not going to be turning that on uh, anytime soon. So, all right. Um, I mean, in the future, maybe. By the way, whenever you, you know, destroy your workbench or your stone or any of your, your crafting tables, like you've seen me do many, many times with the workbench in the wild, you get all your materials back. So you can move stuff around really super easy. All right, so anyway, let's see what we got. I am trying for the cauldron. 
I need one more refined wood. Do I have any seeds? I don't think I do. Dude, I don't think I do. I don't have any seeds left. Uh, that's there, there. All right, let's go get some more seeds. Hopefully they've regrown. Oh, but before I go out, make sure I didn't have to ha have anything repaired. You're going to get really, really used to, uh, tr uh, what do you call it? You're going to get really used to, like, repairing your, your tools, your weapons, your armor, like, all the time. Unless you want to pay materials for it. I, I don't care to. I am muted. Sorry. Thank you. Like I was saying, I don't know what this is. Um, or if, if it's going to... Oh, there's a screw there. Oh, look at that. There's screws in here. Okay. I see. There's another screw right there. Interesting. That's cool. I'd never seen this before. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, sorry about muting. I apologize. Uh, let's go north. Good looking out, guys. This blackberry patch should be like maybe right in here, I think. Maybe northeast. I think. That's a camera. There's probably screws here, too. Yep, sure enough. There sure are. 
Whoa. That's going to be something. Something big. Where's that blackberry patch at? There's some. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. There's honey crumble that I can add to these blackberries and I can make a blackberry jam. And that'll give me 50 uh, food instead of 30 food at a pop. So that's definitely worth it for me to come over here. Here's some more seeds. Let's grab some more seeds. Um, we're getting close to, oh, there's the picnic table. We're getting close to the, um, what do you call it? Um, getting closer to, to Drustana, about halfway between my, my place and Drustana's place. Um, that's the, uh, the person that has the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The Regal Bee Armor. Yeah, there's poppies. Um, they give they give different things here. It's another resource. Seeds are super important in this game. Well, actually, all the resources are super important. But seeds you can use for food. You can use uh, you can make oil out of them for for crafting. Um, some stuff you just, uh, you need to make it for you need it to make your um, your you know your wood your re refined wood okay see this, this these these little golden poops on the on the ground that's honey crumble now I can now I can make the healing patch which is a better a better um, bandage so hang on we got a I gotta fix this. There we go. I, I got I kind of got a kick out of it when I harvested the poppy for the first time because you get nectar <laughs> You get nectar Oh, there's the poppy right there. Let's get ourselves some nectar shall we? Freaking poppy milk yo you get seeds nectar and petals all right, I need to gather all this honey crumble Yeah, nectar in air quotes. <laughs> Who knows what they would have called them? Lots of bees, yo. Lots of bees. I need three bee heads for my uh, for my armor. But we got some other things to do before I worry about that. Oh, come on. There it is. I'm not going to do too much of that because you know what? When I, I need to get some better tools, which will make for, uh, for better harvesting. For sure. So let's head back to the house. Oh, I don't want to jump down there. I'll end up killing myself. I just came out here for some blackberries and some honey crumble, but. Oh, these are jumping spiders right here. You don't want to mess with them, and they po all the spiders poison you. 
So until I get the the antidote, I'm not going to mess with spiders too much. Although we will have to kill some spiders later on down the road. They're one of the bosses is a big albino spider. And it's a big albino spider. I'm not ready to take on any bosses right now. Not yet. And those freaking uh, jumping spiders like to kill me. Uh, is that me over there? No, I'm over here. Okay. But as you can... Oh, there's some more blackberries. This is cool. Yeah, this is great. This is the patch I was looking for. I think I just caught the edge of it when I came through. This is it. Baby! Insect fat. Something killed something else. The animals will kill each other off, man. Which is really nice. Look, there's some more a animal fat here. And an egg. A nectar and edible mushroom for the uh, for the lady uh, the ladybug kit maybe uh, we'll we'll check it out in a minute. All right, it's starting to rain. Hang on, how how far away am I? I might be able to make it to my house. Actually, you know what? No, let's go ahead and just plop down right here. May as well make camp for the night. There's no reason for me to bother. doing anything else there we go sleep for the night I am hungry and thirsty oh, I'm down to 10 Ooh, that's cool I'll eat three mushrooms that'll get me full there we go now this is a nighttime bug this is a night nocturnal ladybug Almost every daytime creature has a nighttime uh, counterpart. I want that. I want it. There's the egg. And of course, you have like uh, globe uh, glow bugs at night that disappear during the day. Mosquitoes down in the swamp. Um, y you can get those, and they only appear at night. Some of the stuff only o only does it at night. It only comes out at night. But like I said, every single count, every single creature—not every single creature—but a lot of the creatures have, have, have nighttime counterparts that you only see from uh, dusk till dawn. Well, vampire bugs, man. All right. So I, you see, my temperature's going down a little bit. It's a warm rain, and I'm still becoming uncomfortable right now. So we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna just sit right in here and see how that comfortable went up. We're going to chill just for a second. Wait for this rain to stop. So just give me a minute. What did I need for my, my cauldron? Oh, refined wood. That's right. I went out for seeds. And then I was like, oh, yeah, let's get blackberries. And then I saw the... The honey crumble, and I'm like, oh, we can do that. Now I can make the, the better bandages. It's not the best bandage. Clay, the clay bandages are the best bandages so far in the game right now. So that, that, that um, honey crumble bandage is so-so. Is I gotta get flint for the, uh, for the tannery. And I think that's all I can learn right now. Once I get these built, it'll, uh, well, it'll give me more stuff, so. So actually, you know what? I don't even have to worry about this. We can do this. Uh, this is cheesing it a little bit, but I can go here. We can go kill that, kill that. Kill this, kill that, and, and then I can go, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and we can, wait, and we can uh, quit to the menu. And then what it'll do is because I've got that bed, 
or because I don't have a bed um, equipped right now, I can go ahead and hit play, select, peaceful mode of course, start, and it'll put me at my tree. So I don't have to travel back. I, ought to, I should have thought about that before because it's a much quicker. Hopefully they don't change this fast travel. And I don't think it's intentional. So there we go. There we are. And I'm at my old be my bed. Go ahead and activate that spawn point. Now, whoops. Let's go ahead and put that away. Go to the stone cutter. Let's go ahead and make some seed oil. I think I just needed, what, two more refined wood? I'm going to keep my seeds if I can. And then I can go ahead and make... Now I can make the cauldron, which I'll put... Um, we'll put that right here. I guess my cooking station can be right here. That's fine. And then let's go ahead and let's uh, let's make a fire too, because you can make different foods depending on uh, on what you're cooking in, right? So I go here. And I've got right now. I've got an ant skewer, grilled grasshopper legs, and mushroom steak. And here I've got boiled poisonous mushrooms, which doesn't. It only gives eight food. It's not great. Fay chowder. This is okay. Th this is where you're going to be starting to look at um, when it gets cold, when it becomes winter. You're gonna, like, I, I subsisted off of fey chowder. If you go outside when it's when it's cold and in the snow, you'll die. Just like being out in the in the rain. Fey chowder. If you if we can get everything that we need for it, uh, which is probably the easiest, it gives me 50 cold resistance for 240 seconds. It also blocks nourishment loss for 360 seconds. It's not as good as the oven. The the food out of this isn't as good as the oven, but it's close. The blackberry jam. It gives me 50 nourishment and uh, 360 seconds of, um, of nourishment loss block. So I'm going to do 10 of those. Four, five. Actually, let's do five of those right now. There's a grasshopper treat in here, too, to tame your grasshopper. You need insect, eggs, and seed oil. So um, we're not going to tame anything right now. I'm going to tame things probably in the next, in the next video. So we'll tame the, the, uh, the ladybug, the grasshopper, and maybe the mayfly. I don't know. No. no. I can't do the mayfly until I, d I finish a quest. So, but we'll do the we'll do the grasshopper and the ladybug um, in the next in the next video. That's what we'll do. Uh, but for right now, I've got some food, which is great. Let's go ahead. And, I don't think. Let's see. Is there anything else? What do I do? I need to make my next my next uh, set of. I need. Oh, I need. Okay, I need bar bark for the uh, apothecary table, and I need flint for the tannery. Now, here's the issue. I can get flint from two different places right now. Well, there's many places you can get flint. Let me show you on the map. So just down here, we're along the, uh, along the river, right in here, there's going to be flint. There's also going to be um, geckos, and there's going to be um, a bunch of other bugs. The geckos are, are herptiles, so uh, geckos and lizards. There's two different things. In the ruins down in here, you're going you're gonna to find um, uh, lizards, and they give you claws. Geckos don't give you claws, but uh, they, they both give you herptile hide, which I need herptile leather to be able to make my tannery, I think. Or maybe I need that to make my... Oh, no, I need that for my armor, for my regal bee armor. I need five herptile leather, if, so I need to make it for the tannery. So, But the problem is, is it, um, I can get more resources. Why is that not uncovered? Oh, no, it didn't uncover my freaking map. Whatever, it's fine. I know where everything is. Up here in this corner here is where all the metal's found. But it also has flint. It also has a bunch of bugs for different things. Um, this is also where you're going to find Nock, who is going to give me my Iron Wing armor, which is the best armor in the game, in my opinion. Um, but, anyway, we're, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right now I need to go get flint, and I think I need herptile armor, or herptile um, um you can't find lizards in the northwest, but you can find lizards in the southeast. So I'm going southeast, I guess. Let's go ahead and dump some stuff here. I've got food. Uh, okay, so I got a stack of that. I got a stack of this. Uh, almost a stack of that. That's great. So we're going to go drop this off. Let's go ahead and drop that off. I may have to make a couple more chests here. Boom, 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 ba doom, ba doom, boom, boom, boom. Um, that's good. That goes in the four slot. That goes in the three slot. 
That goes in the two slot. You see why I do this? Hang on. I gotta fix my stuff. And go down. That goes there. This goes here. So and because I've got the, the hammer in my hand, it's not showing the hammer here. I don't I can put that away. I can put oh I can keep the blackberry jam, put that underneath where my food is. This is my bandages. Actually, you know what? No, hang on. We're fine. I'll just keep those bandages like they are. All right, so that's good. I think we're set. Let's get out of here. We got to go southeast. Tree Butler, take me down to the root level, please. He just... I mean, you would think he's just like a wooden statue, but you can see his hands are moving. So that's a mask. He's creepy. He's Alfred, my tree butler, and he's and he's a creepy, creepy guy. Okay. So. All right. We're probably going to do a three-hour stream today, guys, because I want to get as much done as possible before I make a video. Uh, okay. Southeast is this way. But. We also need, like, 30 chitin. Chitin is going to be from most of the beetles. The problem with that is that most of the chitin, uh, most of the beetles are kind of hard to kill. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna have to get some better armor. We're going to that tree right there, I think. I want to go down there that way. Uh, I might fall and kill myself if I do that. Let's not do that. Almost every single area has a road down to it. So, matter of fact, I think every road does, uh, every every uh, location does have a road down to it. I can go through this log. This log actually has jumping spiders in it, but I don't have to worry about them because they're not going to attack me unless I attack them first. See, little jumping spiders. They sound cute as hell, but they're dangerous, man. They'll kill you quick. All right. I've got enough food to get me up or down the hill and back up again, so. All right, so that's, is that where I want to go? By the way, the wasps will attack other things, so they will. I think i got to go this way, pretty sure. Yeah, the log across the, the way is right there, so i got to go this way. All right, let's drop down here. Boop. This is the now this these little uh, these be beetles right here are the ones I'm talking about. You're going to get chitin from these guys amongst other beetles. But these are probably the easiest ones to kill once you get the weapons to do so. Um, right now, this is a Sawyer beetle. Um, it says that a, a a sword is the best thing to do, but I only have a wooden sword. I can't kill them quick enough before they kill me. All right, so this log right here is where I want to go. Zoop. Careful, slip and fall and fall to my death down that in that water. You don't want that. And I'm going to zippy de doo dah day down here. Zoop. How are we going to get back up there? You ask. Oh, I'm glad you asked. We're going to go ahead and make a foundation. As close as I can. There we go. And we'll make a little. Uh, Little thing of Bob here on the back side. I'll do a little thing of Bob right there. That way I can get up and down it just like that. Make it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and make another foundation right here. Oh, come on. Well, maybe I got to go down. And then let's go ahead and let's, let's do a wall and a roof. And a bed. And activate the spawn point. Now we have I die down in here, I don't I don't have an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and eat one of those. 
I'm just going to chill out here for a minute. I don't know how long it's going to rain, but I kind of want to just chill. And so we're, we're, in, we're in spring right now. We're starting in spring. So, um, and, and summer, or it might be fall. It might be fall. If it's fall, we're going to have winter in a minute, and it's going to be not, not fun. But only because I don't have the stuff I need right now to, uh, which, you know what? We can actually gather a few things right here. This right here is, um, is uh, uh, garden garlic. What do they call it? Hedge garlic. Oh, I need a crude hatchet. I can't do anything with that. I need a crude hatchet for that, which means I need a flint hatchet at least. It should stop raining in a minute, I think. It's midday. But I can go out here and I can gather that rye. I may as well while I'm here, right? If I get too cold, I just go back to my place. There's a lot of hedge garlic here too, so I like this tree because of the hedge garlic. They didn't have any other hedge garlic anywhere um, in the game up until um, this last update yesterday that I noticed. And then I found some more over there where where that, um, that owl tree is. Uh, can't do that. Now let's go down this way. I think I might be okay. I'm getting a little cold, but the rain should stop soon, so we should be all right. Now we got honeycomb here, so we're gonna have lots of this uh, this yummy, yummy um, bee poop, honey crumble. I call it bee poop. Lots of beetles here, but I need to go down this way, I think. Uh, I think I can get down this way, I'm pretty sure, without killing myself. Yeah, we're good. And now what you're going to notice is you see, uh, sometimes the, the, the animals will attack each other. The bees aren't so aggressive, but the, the wasps are super aggressive. So when we get down here to the, the beach, you'll see what, I'm, what I mean. We're going to have some free hide and some free bones because the, the uh, wasps are going to be doing a great job. We hope. I hope. Okay, that's the way to the ruins right there. I don't want to go there. Not yet, because dragonflies are a pain in the ass. As well they should be. You guys familiar with dragonflies? They're brutal in real life. All right. Now this green beetle over here will not attack me unless I attack it. Well, attack it first, but um, that should give heavy chitin, what you need for other things. Slide, baby, slide. See all these hornets? All right, let's 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 follow the hornets. Do not attack the hornets. They will kill you quick. But they're coming out of their their little nest right there. And now they're coming down to, to give me all the all the goodies. This is where I'm finding flint. As well as geckos and uh, water bugs. I really should have made a bow. I can still make a bow. Now there should be a lizard here. A gecko here. Where is he? That's a water bug. These 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 guys should come and kill this water bug. Go ahead and I'm just going to break. Okay, I, I'm not uncomfortable right now. Where'd that gecko go? A lot of wasps down here, man. Where'd that gecko go? There he is. All right, that's one of three that are down in here. Um, hopefully, see, this is why I need the bow. Let's go ahead and let's make a, let's make a bow, I think. Bow. Can I make any arrows? 
I just need a few arrows. Whoa, man, I'm almost out of wood. Well, that's not cool. I've got ten arrows, though. That's fine. We can get some more wood right here. Around here somewhere. Also, this is bark right here. This is what bark looks like, but I don't have a flint pickaxe, so I can't, get, I can't harvest it. It's like multiple trips down here, and you saw how long it took. There we go. Now it's clearing up. I don't see that water bug. Did they kill it? This is sorrel. This sorrel was not here before yesterday. I don't know where it came from, but they put it in the game. There it is. Okay, now the water bug and the and the lizard are, are fighting each other. That or that gecko, not a lizard, it's a gecko. Um, it just killed that 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 roach. And I just learned red jerky, which roach meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's grab this uh, bow that we just made. I don't need but one. I don't need but one freaking. Um, arrow to get this guy's attention all right and all i got to do is get him over by the wasps and let the wasps take care of him but he's dangerous so we're going to attack this this uh this gecko right here you have to you have to pull out your bow and then hit the where, where your arrows are to, to equip them too there we go you ready hit him all right i got to run this way because he's coming after me done this before what here he comes there it is there it is all you got to do is aggro him and, and the wasps will take care of business for you Look at that noise, man. You do not want to mess with these wasps. All right, and I will take all your stuff. I got your hide. I got your bones. I just learned awful broth, which is cool. Let's see if we can And a, a blowgun. Blowgun doesn't aggro anything, and it poisons them. So um, so you should you should be able to use a, a blowgun to uh, do damage and not, and not get yourself in trouble. Now... Where'd that? There's another lizard over here, but I don't know if I can get that lizard to these wasps here, because they do have they do have an area that they they run around. There's then here's one right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this guy. Let me go ahead and eat some food. Make sure I'm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if I can do this without killing myself. All right, here we go. Gotta go. He's right behind me. Come get them. I got I got dinner for you kids. Get them. Come on. He's running back. See what I mean? Hit him again. I don't think it's going to work. He's going to run back. God dang it, boy. But, okay, here he comes. Now he's still aggroed on me. I don't think I'm going to waste it. I think we're just going to go ahead and harvest uh, Flint. Because um, I can't get him to come over here. If I hit them, I'd be in trouble. So we don't want that. Let's go right here. Now I learned Flint Shears. Flint Shears are what you use to break into um, egg sacks of spiders. So you can get silk. That way you don't have to fight spiders for silk. Yeah, they did. That's exactly what happened, uh, rabbits. That, that gecko was like, no, no, I'm not going to go over there. And my brother got killed by, by wasps. I know. Before the update yesterday, sorrel was only found in the ruins and it was only one patch. I couldn't find any more in the entire map. So I don't know if I if I was given a uh, uh, like a, a crappy version of the game to test or what, or if maybe they they didn't um, they didn't have the the aggro right because these animals did not do this before. I I could attack all the animals I want; they wouldn't fight back. So I don't know if they made a change or what happened, which is why I was able to get everything so quickly in this game. Because the, uh, I didn't have to worry about aggro or the uh, aggro of the animals. 
So we're gonna, but I know how much damage things do and how much it takes to kill something. So it, I'm gonna, I need to get prepared before we start killing a bunch of creatures. Which means I might not have my my flying suit for a minute, because I need 30, count them 30. Um, what do you call it? Um, chitin. That's a lot. Considering you only get one chitin for um, for every bug, that, maybe maybe two for every uh, beetle that you kill. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and uh, crash out for the nights, and because everything's turning, everything's going nighttime on me. But let me go ahead and fix my tools first. There we go. Okay, that used resin wooden fiber right there. You see that? Not cool, man. All right, I don't know if I have enough stuff to to, to make my. My bed. I might not have enough to, enough stuff to make it. If I don't, we're going to have to go harvest some more wood. I'm good. We're good. Alright. There we go. Sleep till the morning. There we go. All the nighttime creatures are going to go bed in a minute. Actually, I'm just going to leave that there, I think. I'm just going to leave that there. need a ton of flint right out of the gate. So I've got, what, 24, 34 right now? Okay, I need at least 60, maybe 70. Stamina. We got to make uh, tools. We got to make uh, weapons. I need to make uh, some, um, what you call it, some stations. It's a whole thing. Sounds like we're going to get rained on again. The game's not easy, that's for sure. But it's fun. I'm having fun. So that's what matters. Because I know what the goal is, right? I, like, I, know, I know what that wingsuit can do for me. And that's my goal. And you can mix and match armor too, so you could have some really, really uh, hefty armor, but that doesn't have wings. But you can use the royal, uh, the regal bee armor wings with the with the other the other armor. You know what I mean? Because it's going to be a minute before I get uh, the uh, the iron wing armor. It's beautiful armor too, black and purple with purple wings or sapphire wings oh, that lizard does it still want my face or is it done being aggroed on me hey nutty rob how you doing bud oh did you get are you peeking around the corner are the wasps with you are the wasps with you yeah they're with me they're always with me Dude, see that gecko now? It reminds me of this video of a Komodo dragon I saw that ate a whole pig. Have you guys seen that video? It's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, oh, I need wood, and I don't have any. I could break down my other stuff to get the wood back, but I think I, there should be some wood laying around here somewhere. That's a gecko den, so the, 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 the gecko should respawn pretty quick. You know, Komodo dragons are not to be messed with? I know. I am well aware. 
Wife's from Indonesia, dude. This is what I'm talking about. There's a, I mean, the resources are spread out on purpose so that you, um, it forces you to do a, a little bit extra work to get things. Which is fine. Otherwise, it'd be too easy. Oh, something killed something. That. All right, I just learned poison mace, poison arrow, poison dart. By the way, the poison mace is not worth it. It sounds cool. It's just not worth it. Um, Well, I kind of want to go where this gecko is, but I'm afraid he's gonna. I'm gonna have an issue with him. Let's go ahead and have another mushroom steak. Get my food back up, and let's see about getting this done here. Actually, you know what? Can I can I place this now? I can't. I still don't have enough wood. I need two more pieces of wood. Let's go get some wood. I gotta fix my 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 uh, tools. I should just break down that other stuff. There's some wood right there. Whoops. Oh, I can't do it because I don't have any, I don't have enough wood. I need one wood. God dang it, boy. Get out of my way, Gecko Man. There's some more wood. That'll do. Alright, now we can go ahead and do that. Oops. Alright. How's the new channel coming along? Um, uh, is there any updates? Uh, the answer is, uh, it's, I mean, it's coming along, but uh, I can't do anything of substance until the middle of April. Because uh, I can't even plant anything until the end of May. So we're not even going to, I'm not even going to touch anything for at least another, another two weeks, three weeks probably. At least. So, but I should have some stuff for the channel um, in two or three weeks. All right, now that I've got that uh, fixed up, let's go ahead and grab this. What am I hearing? Oh, dragonfly. Be careful I don't aggro this guy. See what he does? See what they do? They come up and they, lay, they just go up next to you and go, hey, what's up? Why are you in my territory, huh? I don't need to start my seeds yet. Literally six, or six weeks away. I'll be starting them at the beginning of, the, of, of uh, April. I've got a bunch of... Oh, see what's happening here? See what he's doing? He's being a little punk. We only have a five and a half month growing season. 
All right, I think that's going to be out. Do it, guys, for the flint. Maybe well, there might be another piece or two. Bust down the, um, bust this down. Then we log out. For those of you just joining us, you'll see why I'm logging out. And then we'll go select, we'll go back to the peaceful mode, even though it's not peaceful. And that should take me to my other bed. Unless, no it won't, it'll take me to my tree house. All the way back to my tree. There it is, we're at the tree. Because that was the that one we just demolished was the only one, bed I had active. So let's go ahead and make this one active, real right quick. For whatever reasons. And then now that I've got all this flint, now we can talk about making the apothecary, no, the tannery. I need 10 refined wood. Let's see, so there's one, and I've got 15 of those. I've got a bunch of seeds, so I'm going to make, well, not there. Well, I need 10 seed oil. There's 10, and then we'll make, uh, well, I only needed nine, but that's okay. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to expand the, the um, see, do I want to go out that way? No, I don't. We want to go this way. So let's go ahead and go here. Let's go foundations. And I'll go two. And then I'll go with walls, windowed walls. And ceilings. And then let's go ahead and see if I can do the apothecary or the tannery, I mean. Oh, wait. I want it on the other side. Never mind. I don't have the materials right now to do all everything I really want to do, but that's okay. So we'll just do this. Foundation here. I seem to have the same growing season as you do. Nothing prior to early to mid-April. No, end of May. End of May. I have a five, five and a half month growing season. That's it. I know you all are chomping at the bit for the new channel, but I just, I, I, I'm not going to be able to do what I can't do, man. Uh, as long as there's snow on the ground, I can't even mess with the garden. And there's still snow on the ground. It snowed last night. So, let's see. Tannery can go here. Uh, maybe. I guess I'll have to double this up. No, I won't. There we go. That's backwards, though. There we go. There's the tannery. Now I can make the loom and the spindle. And, um, over indoor seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. 100%. What am I doing on, I need more, I need more fiber and I need more wood. I wonder if I have any fiber here. Whoops. I, I need to make a, <laughs> I gotta make a freaking, um, One of those stairs. I do have fiber. Yay. Okay, we've got fiber. That's cool. And there's some more wood. That's great. Uh, my character's not too hungry, so you know what? I'll eat that, that last mushroom I've got. That'll be good. All right, so let's go ahead and let's um, expand out a little bit more so I can make that loom. 
So we're going to go foundations right here. And we'll go two more. And I probably need... I'm going to move all this stuff around. For sure. But for right now, this is how we're going to do it. So... All right, and then the the loom. I need 10 silk. Okay, there's an issue right there. This is now we're going to have to move, guys. We got to move. Uh, let's see, the apothecary table. I need stone, bark, and refined wood. I can't do any of that without uh, flint tools. But this is at the point where instead of going this direction, we go that direction. We go to the west instead of the east because I'm going to have to I gotta make some new stuff here. Let's see, flint hatchet. I need refined wood. Okay, so I, I mean, that's five. Uh, the flint pickaxe is five. So that's 10. Shears are another five. That's 15 refined wood. And I'm not even going to bother making flint weapons. It's a waste of flint for me. I'm not going to do it. And I've got 17. All right, I've got enough seed oil to make enough refined wood to do the job. So that's just cool. The three tools I wanted. This is great. All right. So that, and then we're going to go uh, 15 refined wood. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, I probably have one more than I need. And now we're going to go with a flint hatchet. We're going to go with a flint pickaxe. We're going to go with flint shears. And that'll do. That's all I need right now. So let's go ahead and plop everything back in here that I don't need. Actually, you know what? Let's go in here. Let's see what I can do with this. Do I have anything magical? Awful broth. Roach meat, insect wings, bones, and bugs limp. No. Because I want those insect wings for... I'm going to need those for an armor, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I need insect wings. I think maybe I didn't, I didn't, um, wait, do I need insect wings for the regal bee armor? I think I do. I think I need 10 wings for the regal bee armor. I don't think I wrote that down right. So, yeah. So I'm not going to use that. So none, none of the stuff I've got here, actually I've got blackberries and I've got the, uh, let's grab those blackberries out and that other, there we go. Now I can make blackberry jam. I can make nine. That'll work. Hang on to the rest of this stuff. Poison gland. I can stay there. Let's see, so I don't need... What do I have in my hand right now? Nothing? All right. So. Let's put that away. Put that away. I got to make some, some more chests, though. Come on, homie. Come on, man. You mean no structural support, you butthole? That's weird. I should be able to double stack those, and I don't know why I can't. That's fine. Go like this. That's fine. That's enough. All right, so the wood hatchet goes away. Flint hatchet goes in its place. Um... This, this pickaxe goes away. The flint pickaxe goes in its place. And then everything else, let's see, this is, um, there's my hammer. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, that's arrows, so that doesn't matter. Six goes here. Seven goes there. Eight is my food, so that goes there. Everything else I can ditch, except for this uh, this torch and a stack of whatever I've got. I don't have enough, but that's okay. That'll have to do. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. 
This can go away. That can stay there for food. That can go away. And I'm just going to put that right there so we can switch it out when I need to. All right, so I'm going to need to gather some materials on the way. 100%. Unless I have some... Do I have some resin here? I do. Okay, good. Let's do that. Put that back there. And that'll do, I think. What time is it? Is it almost dark? It is almost dark. All right, let's go ahead and just chill out for a minute. I can't sleep right now. Um, well, what else can I build? Anything? Uh, I need 10 more refined wood. I need bark. I need bark and I need, and I need, um, well, hang on. I might I already did the tannery. I need silk. I need silk and bark, guys. And that's on the other, that's on the western side. Well, it's not a, only on the western side because bark, you saw bark was down there on the east, right? But the silk, the most amount of silk is down there in the swamp on the western side. And that's where we want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna transfer this base over, I think. Because um, if I can get, if I can get this base transferred over, it'll be, it'll be good because I can gather up a bunch of materials and not have to go very far. Well, actually, fast traveling like I do doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Fast traveling back just by logging out and logging back in, it doesn't really matter where this thing, where this base is. If I'm making, a, you know, a bunch of trips back and forth, that still won't matter. All right, let's go ahead and... Can I sleep now? Yes, good. Okay. All right, let's go to the root level. Let's go. I think I'm going to take down this bed down here because I don't really need it. It'll give me a few extra resources, nothing major. And then we'll go down the back side to where we were originally. When you change trees, does it transfer your base or do you have to make a new one? No, it transfers to my base. Everything. Exact. It's, it, it just, it, it, the other, it, it's like it teleports it to the other tree. Which is great. Especially if I'm going to be in a, in a location for a, a long period of time. Have I killed a, a grasshopper yet? I don't think I have. There we go, grasshopper scythe. I didn't think I had. Let's go ahead. I'm at 50, and then my food gives me 50, so we'll eat one of those. Boop. And then we'll go like this. And then let's go ahead and let's create this so I can fix my, my stuff. Get everything tip top. There we go. Tree Butler Moving Company. <laughs> That's true. Yep. All right. While I'm right here, let's get this. Um, let's get this rye, and you'll see this rye is going to be a lot easier to cut with this uh, with this flint. It's two hits instead of three, or four, or whatever it was. So much quicker. I think this flint hatchet's the best I'm going to get, though. I don't think. I, I mean, there's a. A crude hatchet, I, I'm, I'm going to have to get some chitin to try it out. But I think the flint hatchet is better than the crude hatchet. I'm not sure. We'll have to test it. I think the chitin hatchet is, is not as good as the, uh, as the flint hatchet. Oh, oh, up and over. There's the hole that we came out of. Got to have our stacks. One of the reasons why I, like, I, I want to keep my base here, too, is because I can 
just run down really quickly and just fill my pockets full of wood and fiber and ra and, and and raisins <laughs> and resin. That's so weird. I was about ready to say raisins. Mmm, tree raisins. <laughs> That's so dumb. Give a kid a grape. Mommy, what are these called? Tree raisins. Just gonna let them dry out. What? Actually, I've got some extra resin at the house, so I don't really need a bunch of resin right now. Oop. I need mushrooms right now. I got plenty of food at the moment. Here we go. Butterflies. All they give you is fat too. I don't think you can even give you wings. They should, but I don't think they do. They need a butterfly uh, a flying suit though. They really do. That would be amazing. All right. So we got to head over to the other side over here. Yeah, that, that camera angle went wonky on me. And so you almost died. Not really, but you I mean, just it was just a warning that you and water don't get along at all. I'll go this way. All right, we're gonna, uh, gonna sidle up this over here. When I can jump higher, when you have a wingsuit, you can jump a lot higher. A lot further, too. do that maybe I'll trade maybe we'll change um oh is it gonna rain it is raining but is it gonna give me a, a problem here can't really see anything I can't see anything I don't know how you guys are seeing anything where's the where's the entrance to this thing Let me go up this route When they fix this this whole um, log out log in, um, what do you call it? Um, exploit. I don't know where this guy is. Um, transferring trees is going to be important, like really important. So I need to get this down. Ow! Where is it? I need the platform, man. Let's go up this route. It's got to be on the other side here, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Can I gamma up at all? Graphics. You get everything on Ultra. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Wish I could. Is there a gamma? Nope. Sure isn't. All right. Oh well. I tried. I mean, I have a torch. Where's the bottom? I don't want to go too far up. Oh, is it right here? Oh, wow, that's really far up. All right, so we can claim this tree if we want to. I don't want to claim this tree. I want to claim that tree. That's the tree I want right there. But we'll claim this one just so I can show you. So you go to examine, and you say, um, I want to claim this tree. and move my encampment here. And then you go out, and then you just go here. And you go, I want to make, uh, I want to call, call the hot air lift. And it's on its way. And down it comes. And that's all you have to do, man. And he'll show up right here. He's coming down that way. But I want that tree. Or maybe, I mean that tree. All right, go up the tree. Let's go. We gonna go through this branch? Oh no, okay. <laughs> Now, all the trees are different, right? A little bit different. So you might, if you get too close to one side when you're building, you might have a branch come up through your, through your house. But this is it right here. It's still daylight. It's still midday. And then we're going. But you, I think. Okay, no, I've, I already had that active as my, as my, as my bed. So yeah, no big deal. No big whoop. Uh, however, I don't need all this. So now I can drop all this stuff off. So that's a full stack. Those are three. Those are full stacks. So all this can go away. Whoops. I'll and I'm just dump chesting it. You know what I mean. So I'll, I'll I'll work on this later. So for some reason, that is not where it needs to be. They they need to fix this inventory so it doesn't move around so much. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. All right, so that cleaned it up. That's good. Oh, storm approached. It seek, seek shelter. I may as well stay here and not go anywhere, because you know why would I bother? So we're just gonna chill for a second. I'm not gonna risk freezing my butt off. And actually, I've got some stuff. We could build some more. We could build it a little bit further out. Let's go. Let's get a stack. And another stack. Let's go ahead and do foundations. I want to, like, maybe... I want to make this a little bit wider, I think. May as well while we're waiting on the storm, huh? Like I said, we're gonna have to make some um, some adjustments as soon as I, I get into the bigger the bigger. Yeah, I'm freezing right now, so let's let's get warm back up. I'm cold. Come on, comfortable. Get that orange, that yellow into the E. There we go. Now I can play around a little bit longer. 
Come on. Dude, why'd you do that? There we go. The tree shook and it messed me up, dude. That's not cool, man. Let's see, what's a, what are we looking here? Uh, I'm almost out of roofing, so I've got seven more. So I can do... We'll do three. That one. That one. Uh, God dang it, boy. There we go. That's better. They have this real... I mean, I, I turned the music all the way down because I don't want to get copyrighted, but they've got this... Pretty, pretty decent, um, uh, like, like, uh, dramatic music for the, uh, for the events. Like when you're fighting and it's like arc, you know, when you're fighting or when there's bad weather and, and, and it's dangerous. Um, they, they have some pretty good music, but I have it turned almost all the way down so you can barely hear it. If you can even hear it. I don't know over my voice. Okay. Now we're going into spider land. I'll move this stuff around later. Uh, let's see. What, can, what do I need to get rid of? Wait, what happened to my chest? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, never mind. I lost a chest. Where's all my stuff go? Uh-oh. Did I pull it out of here? Oh, I must have put it in here. I did put it in here, I guess. That's weird. All right, let's go ahead and throw another chest down then. To make up for that. Can I fit that in there? Probably not. Nope. I must have destroyed that by mistake. Switch that out. Put that there. This one. That one. Uh, that's good. And then this. Can go right here. You have bigger chests, by the way. There's a metal chest that you can uh, you can make, which is kind of cool. How much longer till dark? Nah, I should be fine. All right, take me down to the root level, please. And away we go. Except I'm so high, uh, high up here that I, I really need a wingsuit to be able to make this efficient. You know what I mean? That's what I was talking about before. You need a wingsuit, guys. It's just going to take me a minute to get one. I'll probably do that in the next, in the next live stream or next video. Um, but I have to go hunting. And I don't have what it takes to go hunting. All, I need to get... Um, my forge and my smelter going. All right, let's go meet another guy. We say we, uh, we 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 go meet another armorer. See, I don't want to go there. I want to go this way. Take that wood. Grasshoppers and bees. That's a tree I want right there. Strawberries, which we haven't uh, we haven't uh, messed with strawberries yet. So um, I need a. Uh, we use this hatchet. Strawberries. Now I, I learned Forest Delight, a new recipe. I'm, I don't normally make Forest Delight. I forget what's in it, but it's not. Um, well, I can, I can, we can find out. Hang on. Compendium. Or no. Codex. Uh, it's going to be under the cauldron. Uh, Forest Delight. It's nectar, honey crumble, and wild strawberries. And it, it gives me the same thing as, um, as blackberry jam does. 
But blackberry jam is only two ingredients. This is three ingredients. That's why I don't bother. That's why I don't bother. Because why would you make this uh, a, a, a recipe that has does the exact same thing for for a third of, a third more ingredients? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. The hell! Oh, that's a that's an ant. And the ant must be what's attacking the ladybugs. They got some big holes in this tree, man, in, in some of these places that don't have anything coming out of them yet. Is this single player only or is it multiplayer? Multiplayer as well, if you want. Um, they're gonna ha and they're also gonna have um, servers as well down the road. All right, you see that guitar right there? That's where we're at right there. Okay, I need to be up in here. Is where I need to be. Right in here is where all the um, where all the all the metal is. But right now we're going for we're going for bark, and we're going for silk, and I need a lot of each. So, but I kind of want to claim this tree because it's right next to my friend. My friend, that's arrowroot. That's not harvestable though. I think it's arrowroot, right? I'm gonna claim this tree if I can. I think I had to get. I think this tree's hard to claim. I think. Because it's right where all the all the stuff. Oh no, it's not. It's not hard to claim. Oh, we're gonna claim this tree. Just in case I get killed for whatever reason. All right, that's my tree. Eat, eat a little bit of this. Now I should be able, can I just go down here? If I have a wingsuit, it's so much easier. No, I can't go down that way. All right. Now, see that guitar? Now, there's always a, an ant that shows up and patrols this, and he always comes up these stairs. So, be aware. Don't freak out when it happens. He's always gonna. There's always gonna be a big old. Um, Ant, red ant that's going to come up in here and follow you in and be a bully and I don't like him because he's a bully but you know what that's okay all right here we go look at this guy this is Mermneck or Mermek, and hey there quite some stairs to get up here huh what uh, you know what have you come seeking some tough looking armor you've got you're wearing I used it making uh, parts of creatures from the Greylands. I, I could make one for you as well if you provide me with the same materials. Yeah, what do you need? So he has the Formic uh, armor and the Bone armor. So the Formic armor uh, is got a little cold protection, but it's got 6, 12, 18, 24 protection with uh, uh, plus 12 blunt resistance. The, the last armor we saw had uh, piercing resistance okay uh, let's see the bone helmet uh, has 6 12 18 24 uh, cold protection and it has 6 12 uh, that makes it 19 uh, 25 regular protection and this has piercing protection as well or resistance so that's the bone and so uh, ant heads fiber string textile patch heavy chitin and bones and then this is going to be made with uh, heavy cut and herp herptile leather, fiber string, and iron ingots. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, all right, there we go. We're, you can hear that. There's that ant I was talking about. It always follows you up. Freaking bully. All right, so I don't think there's anything. Oh, wait, a caramelized ant head. That's food. We'll take that. Did, did I learn the recipe? I don't know if I learned the recipe or not. You can't drink that water just yet. I don't know. What, maybe I wonder if they're gonna add water to the game. Come on, come bully me. There you go. What's up, dude? It's a bull ant. 
Which I guess I could attack him. Uh... Thank you. Butthole. Is it almost dark? It's almost dark. Can I sleep at his place? I don't think I can. I don't think there's a bed here. This is, is this really a water bed? That's a water bed, isn't it? I thought those things were outlawed, man. All right, I gotta go down and, and we could sleep here. Or we could we could log out, log back in, and, and go go to our house and sleep. Maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's just do that. It's gonna be easier. Confirm. And then we're gonna go back into hit play, select, peaceful start. And then we'll just sleep until the morning, and then I'll just take take the uh, the air balloon down. He's just right there, so it didn't really matter. All right, and we'll use the bed. Now we're sleeping. All right, I need to get some food. I don't need food. I'm fine. All right. They're going to fix that. I'm sure they're going to fix this. I hope they don't, but they probably will. Because that's kind of an exploit. There's a guitar. Am I really going to have to fa take half the day and, and hide because of weather? This kind of sucks. <laughs> I got to hurry because it's going to get winter soon and I'm going to have to, I, I need to make some, uh, some food that's going to be not terrible for my, uh, for my character to keep him warm while I'm running around in the snow. All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, the uh, where to, where to get the best armor in the game, in my opinion. Maybe. I'm cold already. Yeah, I'm still good. If I can get in here this way or not, I don't think I can. I think I have to go this way. down. There's a chain link fence right here. I'm going to follow this chain link fence to the garbage can. There's blackberries right here. We're going to pick these up. Oh, hello. Wrong button, dude. What's going on? What the heck's going on here? All right. Game. Fingers aren't working with the game for some reason. Blackberries, blackberries. Tons and tons of blackberries. And then after I show you where where to get your metal and where to get the um, get the best armor in the game, I'll take you. Uh, we'll take you over to uh, where to get the silk and the bark I'm looking for. So pass the garbage can. These are those orange wasps I was talking about. You can get uh, heavy chitin from. And this one's by himself. So, I mean, if you can take him on, that's great. There's some flint in here, too, which is amazing. I'm not going to get it right now. Because we have a, we have a bunch of other monsters in here we got to watch out for. Cockroaches. See that cockroach right there? It's a big old cockroach. And there's metal down here. I'm just going to drop down in here because... He's going to come after me, but uh, but it won't matter because he won't attack me. So you're going to take scrap metal and harvest it. He's going to push up on me, and i got to make sure that I don't hit him because if I do, he's going to kill me. I just learned a spike pickaxe. That's the best get pickaxe in the game, and I can craft it at the workbench. So that is going to be codex, workbench, spike pickaxe. I need five iron shards and five re, uh, refined wood. 
So I've got everything I need. I just need one more node to make the best pickaxe in the game. So we're just going to go do that right now. Or I'm not going to do it right now, but... Actually, I probably should. Let's do that. Let me grab one more... One more here. Alright, so that's this... Uh, there's metal all through here. This, uh, this area right here. This is where we're at. All through here. There's metal all through this. So, um... Well, watch out for the cockroaches and those and those wasps. There's spiders down in the holes. There's um, there's other there's other bugs that float around. But right over here where this traffic cone is is where you want to go for your best armor in the game. You got big ants in here. Hey Ian. Hello. So you go past the traffic cone here. There's some more there's some more metal. I'll grab that. All right. So right there. Oh wait. Oh, they changed it. I don't remember seeing this. Hang on. I'm in the uh-oh. What'd they do? I don't remember seeing this. Hang on. This is different. Look at that. It was wasp nest, guys. This is way different than it was, I think. I don't remember seeing this before. I think they just added this. But since I'm not... Where's my torch? Let me get my torch here. Put that away. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. This is an orange wasp nest. Oh, look at this, man. Yeah, this wasn't here before. They just added this, guys. It wasn't uh, well, it wasn't in my in my game when I was playing it. That's cool. Okay, so I got to go. Never mind about the traffic cone. I got to find uh Did they move my friend? Oh, what's this? Ooh, an ant's head. They moved my my buddy, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just turned around. I think I might just be turned around. There's a bunch of metal here. A bunch of metal here. I thought... Oh, no I wasn't. It's right there. Hang on, I just gotta get to it. I think they moved some stuff around, yo. Let's go across this way. You don't want to fall down in that pit. Or in those pits. Yeah, here we go. This is what I wanna this is what I wanna see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. It's just kind of hidden. There we go. It's right here. This is where I want to be. I just got to go to the other side. Here we go. Yeah, where the knife is. Yeah, I was just turned around. This little kid slide right here. There we go. There we go. Put that that out. Um, and this is a uh, knock. Howdy! It's not every day we see. A, I need to see another person up here. I can see why this place is not very welcoming. Well, that's the Greylands for you. I am. I, Knockendale uh, Meta Tule, but you can call me Knock. What brings you here? Why do you live all the way out here? 
The Greylands are great. This place is riddled with artifacts left by the giants. I salvage metal scraps and other things for use in my inventions. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> that gets me every time. I <laughs> said, like, no, nothing. Nothing? All right. Do you need any help with any of these dangerous creatures roaming around the area? Well, normally they leave me alone, but this area has gotten uh, quite a, a bit more dangerous recently. I can't quite explain it, but a giant black hornet flew in from the uncharted lands up north. And has been making its, it made its home in one of the uh, the giant metal boxes and it turned the Greylands into its hunting grounds. All right, so this is definitely different because you know what, um, the Iron Wing armor required sapphire wings. So and I think that's what you, maybe you, no no you get it from the Black Hornet maybe. I think you do. Yeah, I'd be grateful if you take care of the the beast for me so I can resume my scavenging expeditions. On a side note, oh yeah. So on a side note, I'm sure I could help you by crafting some highly advanced uh, uh, equipment using the creature's sapphire wings. I'll take care of it. Oh, I was about to for uh, I was about to forget. Make sure you play a visit to Mirmek. He crafts exceptional armor. You'll need it out here. So he, he, there, she's suggesting that you go back to Mirmek, get that g badass armor he's got. The what kind is it again? The Formic armor or the Bone armor, either way. So the map's been updated, and the Black Hornet is directly north, northeast of me, right there. So there we go. Yeah. Is there a backstory for the game? Yeah, you you are you're you're among the uh, the little people, and uh, the the giants have uh, have have been extinct for hundreds of years now, and we're living we're living amongst their rubbish pretty much, and the uh, and but the but the storyline is that the queen, our queen has uh, has gotten sick, and I got to figure out. And, and somebody stole the key to the uh, to the the bank vault, basically that ha that has the uh, the elixir that we need to make her better. So she's sick right now, and I'm trying to find out trying to, where the uh, who took the key and how we can get into get back into our bank vault. Now I'm not going to attack that black hornet right now. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, hang on. There we go. Here's some food. What time is it? That's still not even midday. All right. Is this game free to play? No, Alan. Alan, boy, it, will, it is not free to play. It will not be free to play. Uh, it'll be on sale in, for, on Steam in two days. Two days it'll be on sale on Steam. So I, I got early access to it, and I'm showing you guys for a little first look right now. All right, so we got to get down into the swamp, guys. I don't want to go this way, I don't think. I might, I might want to go this way. Maybe. We'll see. Am I going the right way? Not really. Kinda. And we're kinda going the right way. That's a swamp right there. But can I get down inside the swamp though? Maybe. It might be alright. Lots of spiders down in here, guys. If you don't like spiders, now that's now's the time to bail. There's black widows and um and uh wolf spiders. There's also uh, giant toads down in here. And you see those lights in the distance? Just right there in the middle of my screen. That's where um, that's where our next armorer is. All right, but right now, you know what I should do? Hang on. There's a black widow right there. Uh, you got to be really careful down in here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna go visit. Uh, what's her name? Lissandra. Lissandra. Yeah. All right. So Lissandra's right down in here. We'll visit her and then I'm gonna jump and make the make the look at that. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. That shadow. Look at that shadow. This is her. This is her den right there. I don't know what's making that shadow, but that's funny, man. A little spooky. It's funny though. All right. So we're gonna drop down in here. Boop. I was gonna make that uh, that new pickaxe, but since we're right here, all right. So they there used to be a bunch of baby spiders in here, and they've replaced them with jumping spiders instead. Um, so you got to be really careful in here. Owl effigy, huge humanoid creatures used to roam the overlands long ago. They were known among the small folk as giants. Nobody knows the reason they disappeared, but since their time has ended, the small folk have cautiously started to come out of the burrows and explore the overland. There's your backstory. Lissandra, how are you, madam? What brings you this far into the swamps? 
I'm a vanguard exploring the overland to uh, uncover any dangers that might threaten our people. What can I do for you, vanguard? Can you craft armor? My grandmother taught me uh, that every part of a spider can be used. Unlike me, she used to hate spiders, but she could create the toughest and yet most nimble protective outfits out of out of them. Uh, I can make one for you if you have the you have to. But you'll have to provide the materials I need. I'd love that. So she makes the silk weave uh, armor, guys, um, and it's it basically makes your um, your movement speed plus eight. And it gives you piercing resistance, and but the protection's really low. And it gives you a little cold resistance. So, there's that. The shadow is a nice touch. Now, I can use her campfire. I don't know why I couldn't use the other campfires. Uh, I thought that said cheeseburger. Grilled cheeseburger legs. <laughs> uh, I don't care. I don't need food. I've got enough food for right now. All right, so... Is that a baby spider in your arms? It is indeed. Her name is Singwen. She might look cute and small, but one bite from her could paralyze a grown small folk. Is there an antidote to spider poison? Here we go. There it is, poison antidote. I know of many, yes. Some are about as effective as pond water. Others can save a small folk from certain death. This one is very powerful. This is how you gotta ask her so you can learn spider, uh, your, the spider uh, anti-venom. Anti all right, I shall go now. Hang on, wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Uh, this is a dangerous place to call home. Do the spiders give you a lot of trouble? I know my way around the creatures of the swamps. They tr rarely trouble me. However, yes. The other night I saw someone lurking around in the swamps, although I couldn't make it out, out who it was. Shortly after, a giant albino spider emerged from the beyond the western walls of the swamps to make its nest in a cave southwest of here. The creature has become more erratic and hostile lately. Due to its great strength, I fear it might upset the natural order of the, in the swamps. If you could eliminate the spider and bring me one of its eyes for examination, I could study it. I may be able to uncover the reason for the spider's sudden change in behavior. It's a dangerous task, but I believe in your skill and bravery, Vanguard. I shall seek it out. Yeah, basically it's rogue armor, pretty much, yeah. So, uh, so now on the map... There's the albino spider down there. We've got the black hornet. That's another boss. We, uh, do we have another boss in here that I haven't? Uh, not yet. We gotta go see Scotty down there. He'll tell. He'll talk about another boss that's down in here. Uh, that's the. That's gonna be the third boss. Uh, Drustana, I think, tells me about a boss. And then down here. Like right in here, we've got a, a witch that's going to tell me about a boss. And I think the elder tells me about a boss. I forget where the sixth one is. Anyway, whatever. So these are the, uh, these are the, 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 the spider cocoons. And we take the, um, the flint shears. And then we harvest them with the flint shears like this. Watch out for the spiders, man. These guys will kill you quick. So you get, I got, now I just learned the chitin axe and the chitin spear. I want to see something right quick. The chitin axe under the codex and the workbench. Uh, is it? Where is it? Titan Axe. Titan Spear. Titan Axe. Made from fallen creatures, this axe is bound to cause more to fall. Okay, this is not a tool, this is a weapon. You need uh, 10 chitin, uh, 4 refined wood, and 3 silk thread. Alright, so I don't, okay, so that, it's not, it's, it's, it's a weapon, not a tool. In other words, you can't use that to chop down a tree. I've made that mistake before, and uh, not great. Spent a lot of time making... Oh, God dang it, kids! All right, we're gonna go... I'm gonna go out. We're gonna leave. Because I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Do, I don't wanna mess, mess with these guys.
We got plenty more over here. I don't, I don't need to get over there in the middle of their, their business. They'll kill me quick. And they're going to follow me, too. Why you got to follow me? Leave me alone. Oh, we might go for one more hour. I kind of want to get uh, most of my stations done today if I can. I think we might have some more down in here. Let's, uh, let's put that torch right there. Why is there a why is there a light there? That's so weird. They must be planning on putting something there. It's got to be a placeholder. I need about forty or fifty. You never used uh, uh, shears like that? Yeah, me either. There's that black widow. By the way, you can get you can harvest two things at once if you do it this way. Just get in between them. Now, my what I'm curious about is um, there we go. Now I just learned all about wood. Just learned all about wood because I got the bark. Put that away. This water's deep in here, guys, so be careful. I should probably put a bed down. Getting around this uh, this water's not not easy. I unlock you when you get the bark. You uh, you unlock a bunch of stuff. I mean, it's a whole it's a whole building set. So stone is next, but I have to get clay to learn stone, and I need to go get clay because I need to be able to make my forge. Because I'm going to need iron ingots. For show, for show. How much bark do I have? Uh, thirty-two. I'd like to. That's a. Wait, what is that? Is that is that is that a wolf spider? Yeah, that's a wolf spider. That's one of the ones you can tame. So Don't want to fall in there. And these guys and, and these guys will even on passive mode, will try to push you around, man. It's like walking around in a in the middle of safari. Kinda. Hang on. Put that down. Can I what do you mean it's not allowed? What do you mean it's not allowed? Right there, there we go. Fix my stuff. Oh, what, what am I short? Flint? Oh, that's great. I need flint for both of those. That's fine. Wolf spider. So we'll worry about that when we get home. I'm just going to use them up. Is it almost dark? It is dark. Oh, hello. 
That's a nocturnal wolf spider, I think. Ooh. I see you. I see you. All right. Cool beans. This could get dangerous. Where'd he go? I was hoping to hear a mosquito. If I could kill a mosquito. It's a nocturnal spider. Not technically a wolf spider, so. These are one of the ones that come out at night. And it says that they are, they're, 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 uh, their weakness is poison. Which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand that. Like, what, how can a poisonous spider uh, be like susceptible to poison? Normally it's the exact opposite, you know what I mean? No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, I'm coming up on. There's the there's the toad in, in, in right over there. Okay, we got him. We got a mosquito. This is great. I can get him if, he can, if I can get him while he's while he's down. We can unlock another thing. Oh shit! Dude! <laughs> they didn't do any damage. I unlocked blood soup, though. There we go. Ate my blackberry jam. Gotta love that, man. That's great. I'm not going after that. I'm not going after that toad. Screw that toad. You would think the spiders would avoid flame? You would think so. All right, let me see what I've got. I might have, we may fast travel back home. Whoops. Uh, so I've got 36. Is Silk is all I've got? Oh, no, I need more silk than that. Uh, I've, I've got 56 bark, though. That should be enough for right now. Let's go Let's go get some more, uh, some more silk. Head this way. down in here. Ooh, booga booga. Oh, that's nothing. When there's a black hole like that and you can't move into it, that means that's a spawn point for something. It's probably that toad. In fact, I'm almost positive it's that toad. That's a spider hole. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I am sorry, but I would not be coming down here in the swamp like this. No freaking way. If it was real life, uh-uh. Not me, buddy. Too many spiders. It's too many spiders. Look at all those bones. Well, I can't go. Well, I, I could go that way, but we're not gonna. Oh.
Well, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to call it on the on the swamp for right now. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and uh, quit the, the menu. It's still late. And then we'll go play. Select. Uh, right there. Start. Big nope here too? Yeah. I mean, I get it. Spiders have their place in the world, in the, in the universe. I get it. But they don't need to be around me. And some flint. And... Okay, there's that. Fix my stuff. Actually, I don't need to fix the flint pickaxe because we're not going to use it again. What? Oh, I need refined wood. Do I have any? I may have to make some. Oh, there's one. That's all I need. That's fine. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and put away the, the flint pickaxe in a chest that I don't care about. Wait. There. One, two. I don't know how this these get mixed up. Three. That's four. Five is the shears. Where? where oh, they're in my hand. That's why you can't see them. If you're carrying them in your hand, you're not going to be able to see them in your inventory. That's five. That goes there. Six is empty. Seven, eight. Okay, we're good. All right, now I can start th thinking about moving some stuff around. The jumping spiders are cute, though. They really are. I mean, the, in the game. I don't know. I don't know about anywhere else, but uh, real quick, let's see what I can do about making the uh, the loom. I need seven refined wood, so let me go ahead and see how many seeds I've got at the moment. Put that away. There, okay, there's some there's some oil. Put that away, put that away. Like I said, I'm just dumping it right now because I don't really care. <laughs> there are some seeds. I don't have enough though, I don't think. We'll have to go get some some stuff. So I will go There's the loom and spindle Okay now we learned windmill uh, Flower wall light Standing bluebell light So I'm going to go ahead and We're going to hook and grapple gun So let's go ahead and Let's break out the the twig and what you call it stairs, and I guess we'll do. I guess I'm gonna need a foundation here. And we're gonna put this windmill on top of this. So let's see. But the windmill I'm gonna need. What do I need for that? I need ten silk, five fiber. 20 refined wood and eight fiber string. So the fiber string is easy enough. It's actually just fiber. That's it. Two fiber a pop. Silk thread is one resin and two silk. Textile patches are fiber and silk. And grapple gun is a fiber string and chitin. And the hook is fiber string and chitin. Don't care about that grapple gun. 
Uh, I'll test it out at the very end uh, before I, um, when I get my flying armor. We'll we'll test it out then. I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's not, I, because last time I tried it, it wasn't that great. Um, so doesn't mean they're not going to improve it. It just means right now it's not that great. Well, when I tested it. So that doesn't mean anything because it's early access and it's not even released yet. So I'm sure improvements are coming. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? What am I doing? I wanted something else. I mean, we need to get that. I need to get that pick made. So let's try that. That this is the best pick in the game, which right now, which is the spike pickaxe. All I need is five refined wood. Oh, I should have made it first. I've got two, so I can make two. Do I have not have any more seeds at all? I thought I had a lot more seeds in that. Guess what? It takes a lot of seeds in this game, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's um 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 dump, dump, dump for your love, dump it. Let's see here. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just. Acting weird. As usual. Alright, so that bow. Right, I don't need that those shears anymore at the moment, so we'll dump those. Put that bow right there. Where's my arrows? I dump my arrows, I guess. Bull mandible, screws. Put that away. Put that away. Let's go get some um whatchamacallit. Some seeds. There's got to be some seeds around here somewhere. They're pretty common. Even in real life, they have super cute uh, uh, bi uh, big eyes. Really? <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you guys are getting a, a big old fat taste of this game right now because uh, because I've, I've, I've actually gotten a lot done. A lot, a lot done. Like way, like it, what, what you're seeing is taking me three hours. Was take, it did take me probably eight or ten hours the first time I went through. But I, since I know where everything is, it's like a lot quicker. All right, I need some, I need some seeds, baby. Seeds, baby. I see some seed pods over there. Oh, you know what I could have done? If I didn't know I was short on seeds, there are cattails in the swamp. And they give the most amount of seeds of any plant in the game right now. Rye isn't bad. Poppies are kind of ch chintzy. I think. Maybe maybe it's maybe it's rye that's chintzy and, and poppies that they give the most. I mean, not the most. Uh, the, ne the next amount. I only need five. These three should give me my five. So let's go here. There's two. Two more. There's one more. Cool. That'll do. That's all I need. See that ant? Look at him. Look at him. Big bully. Big ant bully. How am I going to get up here? I guess I go that way, huh? This kind of makes sense, maybe. Isn't that how I came up this last time? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, up the hill we go. Up the hill we go, hi ho the Dario. Up the hill we go. Very nice, very nice. This is a good location. There's a lot of stuff here. I still need I still need to go to the other side of the map for uh, for hides. Cause I don't think I have enough hides. All right. I mean, I could get I could get herptile hide. From the uh, from the frog, but uh, I'd have to fight the frog. <laughs> I don't want to fight the frog. I just don't want to fight him. Three, 
four, five, and then there's two more, and then I need uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then I should be able, where is it? Oh, wrong one. Uh, where are you? Spike pickaxe, I need five iron shards, which I just put away. There we go. Iron shards. Shart that iron, man. There we go. Nice. Spike pickaxe, baby. Where is it? Where'd he go? Uh, okay. There it is. Boop. And it's just a nail on a that's attached to a stick. <laughs> it's really weird. Like that. Drop that down. What's it? Oh, I'm I'm. See, this is what happens, man. You put it in your in. It should stay in your inventory at all times, because it's putting other stuff in there. It's not it's not cool, man. Not cool. All right. We also have to go get clay. So, uh, but I, I kind of want to build the, uh, the, the sawmill because we, uh, in the sawmill, the, uh, the windmill, because that's going to open up my, my forge and I don't want to go to the other side of the map before, by the way, all this furniture, none of it has any function except for it being furniture. Like that prep table, it's just for show. That cabinet, it's just for show. Okay. Uh, uh, now I mean the, the, the lights, they, they light up. And the ta table is the table, the cap table, and the wooden chair. I think you might be able to sit in it. I'm pretty sure you can sit in it. But uh, And then there's a regular table there, too. This is all the decorations that they have in the game right now that I know of. Um, I might There might be some more. So let's see. Interactive windmill. I get 10 silk. 20 refined wood. So I need 20 more seeds. What time is it? Okay, it's midday. All right, we can go down. I got to eat, though. My guy's hungry. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go take me down to the root level, please. Yes, that's where we go. So I need to get uh, I need to get 40 more seeds, kind of, which is like 10 more plants. So we're probably going poppy hunting because the poppies are right down there, like right over there, just down to the uh, northeast. Yeah, there's a bunch of poppies. That's what we'll do. Cause I'll get, I'll definitely get seeds from that. How much for the game? We don't know yet, Mallard. I, I this is a review copy I got. It's a press copy, so uh, I'm playing it uh, two days before they release it. Uh, I would think that it being, I mean, I, I'm only, this is only speculation, so don't quote me on this. But most early access survival games go for around twenty to thirty dollars to start. USD. All right. Now, I don't know how much they're going to ask for it. Right now, everything seems to work in the game. Um, I've only gotten stuck on the map t like twice. And there's only a, there's only like a like a smidge of, of Im ghost images that uh, where I can actually go through the through something that I, I that I thought I was going to be able to walk on. So there's not much wrong with the game. And that's all I ever ask of a of a of an in, of an indie game or a, or an early access or alpha or beta or whatever. Whatever you put in the damn game, make sure it works. That's all I ever ask. You, it can have like three things in the game. I don't care. But if it if with those three things, if one of those things three things doesn't work, well then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be liking you too much. Is this a shore that I didn't know about? Wait a minute. Hang on. Let me go over here right quick. Can I go down to the shoreline here? I can't. Hang on. This might be my new favorite place to hang out. If it's got... What am I hearing? Dragonfly. Oh, the ants are going after the dragon. Oh, that's, that's a mayfly, by the way. That's one of the tameable creatures right there. That mayfly. So, yeah. But the ants don't like them. Tell me I've got some flint down here. Or something. I mean, there's a little wood, but is that all there is? Okay, Mr. S Mr. Ant-Man. All right, so we got bottle caps. All right. All right. 
Something's coming out of that hole. Must be an ant, probably. All right, so there's not much down here. That's okay. No worries, Mallard. Happy to be of assistance. And uh, there, if you guys didn't seen my uh, my my roadmap video, they they put out a um, they put out a uh, a roadmap of what they expect they they want to put in the game. In the next, uh, well, they said it's coming soon. I, I'm going to say the next year. Now they've got update one ready to go, and then they've uh, and then they've got another update that they're going to be working on them. Or they're going to be working on. Um, they say coming soon, but I mean. You know, I expect it to be six months to a year before the re before the second update shows up. I could be wrong. These guys actually got their act together. They actually they, they took a they took a game a failing game because well it was a money is because of money, and they turned it into something that I I I think it's an okay it's a great start. It's an exceptional start to a game. How much playability are you going to get out of it right now? Probably 30, 40 hours, I'd say. With what you, with, with what's here, because it's going to take you that long to get, uh, to get all the stuff. There's a, may, this is a mayfly, right? Or damselfly, not mayfly, damselfly is what it is. All right, that's a tameable creature. I'm going to wait before I tame anything. I'm going to wait to get, uh, to get my really, really good weapons. Because I'm gonna need, I need really good weapons to get any th any amount of chitin. That's my that's my main goal right now is to get my first flying suit. You'll understand why in a, in, when I get it. So that'll be tomorrow, probably. God, it's already been three and a half hours, guys. It didn't even feel like it. I feel like I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half. Maybe two hours. It's been double that. All right, so let's see. Petals, nectar, and seeds. How many seeds? I've got 26. What did I say? I needed 40. I want to be able to get. Actually, I probably, I probably want to get to the uh, uh, to be able to tame some creatures. To, we're going to tame some creatures tomorrow because I need to make a taming video anyway. Um, all right. I thought I saw. There we go. That's what I saw. There it is. Some more seeds right there. Some more right there, too. And some more down the road there. It's a really good place, man. I like my tree. My new tree. Oops. I think this might be the best axe that you can get right now. They say they're going to put in a new tool and a new a new weapon in the first update, so I'm hoping it's going to be a better axe because um, you get you have a really 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 good pickaxe, but a so-so axe, like uh, like for chopping stuff down, like one hit and rye would be amazing for for later on it when you need more stuff. That's why I made my my pickaxe as fast as I did because you know, it's super important. For gathering your, you know, all your your bark and your clay and your metal, those are like mid to end. Well, those are end game. Metal is supposed to be an end game item, but I 
Oh, and this little baby map that they've got, I mean, it's not baby map, but I'm going to call it a baby map. Uh, this little baby map of theirs is only the beginning. They, they're going to expand in all directions because they can. I've seen, I, I, you can see on the edge of the world where they've left, they, they've got it to where, like, I can't go any further this way. Um, like over here, this is a bus. There's a, there's a bus right here on the western side of the map where I can get across it and I can get through here, but all of this right in here is empty. Like there's nothing there, but which means they're going to fill it with something because I can get to it, but, and I'll show you, I'll show you tomorrow maybe, but I can't, I can get to it, but I just, there's nothing there. I need to be able to fly before I can do that though. Or not fly, you glide, you don't fly in this game. Okay. How many seeds do I have? 51. Let's get the rest of these poppies down here and then I'll call it. So I know you said you lost your saves. Did you manage to get any, any, any of the how-tos done? No. No, I didn't get them finished. I got all of the, I've got everything written down. I mean, what how-tos are there though? I mean, um, I mean, the taming video, I didn't get finished. I had all of the, uh, I had all of the food ready to go, but I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I hadn't gone out and, and gotten all the, all the animals because I want to show how to tame the animals. But the, there, now, now that I've got this update, though, I realize that my game was, was flawed because none of the animals were attacking me when I was attacking them. So it was useless. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to show a proper, um, a, a proper, uh, what do you call it? representation of taming the, the animals because they're not fighting back and somebody somebody can look at my video and they're gonna try it and they're gonna be like what happened I got killed so many times trying to tame my my damselfly you look you made it look so easy what were you on God mode it really felt like God mode is what it was what's up generation lost how you doing so in a way, these files going away is not a bad thing. And so it also, if there's anybody else that's got a review key that has put out content and they have the old save and they haven't updated on Steam and they're not and they're showing um, they're showing subpar stuff that's not completely honest, then I am, I'm going to have a more honest video. So even if it takes a couple more days, I'm OK with that because the game's not even out yet right? I've got time. I have today, tomorrow, today and tomorrow, right? So it's fine. They need to fix that. I mean, I don't want them to, but they need to probably. Did I just fast travel back to my, to back to my tree? I really hope they never fix it because it, it's really easy just to come back. They could, you know what they could do? They could penalize you by making you hungry is what they could do. That would that, that would be fair. I'd be okay with that. You know, you could penalize me by maybe making me down to 50% hunger. Make me make me use my my food to fast travel. You only seen one other person really putting stuff out? Oh, yeah, I know. Um he and I talked this morning. Hey, Vexler, how you doing? You just realized the game's almost out? Yeah, two more days, buddy. Okay, now see, what are we doing here? Um, I, Okay, I, I needed to get... Okay, so I need... Hang on. We're making the we're making the windmill. I need 20 refined wood. Okay, that's all I need. So that's, so that's our goal right now, 20 refined wood. So for that, I'm going to need to make... We just got all those seeds. Let's fix... Let me fix my, uh, my tool, though. I need flint. Let's grab some flint. That's metal. That's flint. So what happens when you don't stop? What the hell? Oh, I need one refined wood? Okay. That's fair. So that's what happens when you don't stop and, and fix your tools and you just keep going. Two, three, four... Six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just do. We'll do twenty-one. 
That's all you really need. 21. And then I'll fix my tool with the one. Whoops. I gotta make refined wood. Yo. Nineteen twenty, twenty-one. Okay, so and then I'll go ahead and go over here. And we're gonna go with um, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm repairing. That's what I'm doing. Boom! There it is. Okay, cool. Is it almost dark? It is dark. It's almost light. Let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, how is it compared to Grounded? I mean, there's not as many quests in in this one, but the uh, but the but it feels more. It feels like Ark or um, or Conan, as far as the crafting goes, and so and so far. I mean, I would say if you like Grounded, get this game. I would say that. Okay. Now, do I do I think it's going to be worth the price? I don't know what the price is right now, um, but how's it compared to Grounded? On par with Grounded, I would say. I would say. The enemies are definitely, they're tough. So, yeah, there are similarities. Sure there are. You betcha. There's gonna be. So how much fiber string did I say I needed? Whoops. I needed... Alright, so I need 10 silk and 8 fiber string? That's not a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then... Oh, here we go. I just learned leaf bed and shelter bed, guys. Like I said, learn a thing to make a thing. Or make a thing to learn a thing. And where's my, where's my silk? There's my silk. Now I can go ahead and we can make this guy. And that'll unlock my forge and my smelter, as well as my oven. It should, anyway. Unless I need clay to get that, but I might need clay to get it, so we'll see. So we're gonna do the uh, the windmill. By the way, I don't know uh, if I hold down R, I should be able to rotate this around, but I'm not seeing the rotation um, on this, so we're just gonna have to leave it like this, I think. Because I don't know how to rotate it. So that might be something that um, that you that they're gonna have to work on. That's okay though. We're gonna put it in this corner. Now, I do, okay, stone oven and furnace just got unlocked. All right. So, and this is this is your windmill. You don't have to have that uh, under cover. And we're gonna learn uh, flour right now. I'm gonna make some flour just so I can see if I learn something. Didn't make anything. Didn't learn anything. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and let's. Um, it takes five seeds to make one flour, guys. Not worth it. So if you got any recipes that, uh, that have flour in them, I would not suggest that you do that. I'm going to make put my oven right here, though. Uh, so we've got a, I, this is where we double. This is where we do uh, two, two levels right here. So what is it, what's it going to take for me to make my oven? Uh, I need st ten stone brick and five clay motor. So I need clay anyway. And then... Um, I need stone brick and heavy chitin for my furnace. Shoot. That means cockroaches. That's not going to be easy. Or the orange uh, wasps. So that's, gonna, that's heavy chitin as well. I think the big beetles give uh, heavy chitin as well. Um, and the bosses will give heavy chitin too. So... Uh, weather is a factor, yes. Um, yeah, weather can kill if, if, if the storms when it says a storm is coming it will freeze you and kill you quick So you need to make a, a shelter a real quick shelter. I'll show you real quick since you're new um, So we go foundations you and then you just Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me let me explain it a little bit better. Hang on So I have a I have a building hammer here. Okay, it's in my one slot Okay, I pull out my building hammer I hold down the right or click on the right mouse button and I go to foundations and then I'm going to click on a foundation. Then I'm going to right click again. We're going to go to building. I'm going to go to the wall, the twigs and leaf wall because it's the cheapest. And then I'm going to right click again. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, the leaves roof, which is two fiber. 
and I'm going to do like that. That's all you need. And put away my, my hammer. That's all you need to protect yourself from a storm, okay? So, and you look down in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see I've got a food bonus going on right now, that green and that blue. So, right now, if I go into here, now you see next to it just appeared the uh, little guy with the house over the top of him. That means I'm sheltered. That means I'm going to be able to be comfortable under it with, with, in a storm. And also in the winter, too. Like In the winter, this is all you need to keep yourself warm. If you're out and about and you, and you don't have any, any warm food or you don't have any armor that's keeping you warm, you can go ahead and you can do that. Although in the winter, and there is a winter season, it's brutal. So you want to prepare yourself for winter. So, And that's going to be the um, both the cauldron meals and also the stone oven meals. Will they, you, can, you, can, you can warm yourself up. So where is it? Uh, it's Faye Chowder. Garlic leaf, beetle heart, insect fat. Um, that's going to give you 50 cold protection for 240 seconds. Okay, so that's what? Six times four is 24. So that's four minutes. Four minutes of cold protection in game. Um, and, but also gives you 50 nourishment, and it blocks nourishment loss for 360 seconds. So you're going to be eating food even though you're full just to keep yourself warm during the winter. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm really excited about the, the future of this game. I think this game's got, got a lot of I mean, you know what? They always say things have potential, and it pisses me off when people uh, when, when a garbage game, people say, this game has potential. Yeah, no. Those games don't have potential because they, they're shit games. They're garbage games. This is a good game. That, I mean, this is a good early access game that has potential because everything works in this game, and it looks good. And it feels good, and it handles good. So for for an early access game, that's supposed to be an early access game. Like I said, I only have one, one, one. Only have one thing that I ask of early access developers: make sure your stuff works. If it's in the game, make sure it works. So many times, things are in, assets are in the game, and they just don't work right. This does. This stuff does. Like I said, I haven't seen anything that doesn't work yet. Um, and well, there are there. I mean, there are things that need improvement, like the like the mounts. They need improvement. They need more stamina, right? Uh, it, would, it would be cool if they could attack. I don't think they can attack right now. Um, so right now, I don't think they aggro any anything once they're tamed. So yeah. So right now, um, you know, I mean, the things. But but you can you can tame them and you can mount them. You can tell them to stay, um, and and. And when you feed them when they're hurt, you throw the food on the ground, they walk up to it, eat the food, and heal themselves. So, the stuff that's in the game works. And that's all I ask. That's not too much to ask. That's why I get so angry at, at, at games sometimes. That's why you'll see me. I might say, I might, I, 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 I kind of temper it sometimes. I might say, hey, you know what? Um, this game looks like it. I might want to play it again. And then you never see me play it again. I'm just being polite. <laughs> Because sometimes it's just, I'm like, no. All right, guys, so what we're doing now, because um, we might have to play this for five hours. Because I, I, I need to go get clay. So we're going to go, and I gotta, but i got to travel because I don't have wings, so I can't, I can't glide. we got to go get some, uh, some clay. So let me go, let me drop down here. That's on the other side of the map, by the way. You're going to be able to go see the ruins now. Which you guys haven't seen yet so there are seven distinct biomes in this game right so we've got this area right here where there's the metal i don't know I'm, this is like uh, this is like the junkyard area we have the um so that's one we have the um the forest now i don't know if they're considering the forest east and forest west as two but we have the swamp which is the third one we have the uh the beach area which is the fourth one um, we have the um, this area over here, which is like a step stepstone ruin type area, uh, which is like uh, which um, I'm not sure if they, they're considering this to be another area as well. Um, but then you have the ruins area down in here. That's the six uh, six areas, and then I think this beach uh, oh, and, and down here you have the swamp or the uh, the marsh area, which is um, uh, the seventh area. So that, those are the seven biomes. And unfortunately, my freaking map got covered up again when I started this world. So that's okay. 
It's all right. It's not a big deal. I'll uncover it in, uh, in, in the next couple of hours. All right, so let's go ahead and jump down. Uh, do I want to go down through there? Probably not. Not having wings is killing me. <laughs> so we're going to go east again. By the way, this tunnel, I think you can get up to the top from this tunnel. I'm pretty sure. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Or is this the tunnel that leads down into the swamp? I forget. There is a tunnel that leads down into the swamp. I just I just can't seem to find it. Let's say move stuff around. Yeah, there's creatures in here, but I, but I don't see them. They're in the walls. Beetles. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You heard me. I said it. All right. This might lead down into the swamp. Oh, no. It leads down into beetle land. Yeah, I don't care about this. As soon as I get some good armor, or good, good weapons, then I will. I think I might have to make the poison mace to be able to get the metal mace. The metal mace is the best weapon in the game. Um, the next best weapon is the is the hammer, and I'm talking about like a two-handed war hammer. Um, and but I'm gonna have to get. I, we're gonna have to make the. Uh, I may not need to do that. I think all I have to do is just. Um, did I lose my way? Excuse me, sir. Can you help me read this map? Yeah, dead end. By the way, I said it before, I'll say it again. Make sure that you p turn on uh, passive mode or, or easy mode, they consider easy mode. Otherwise, everything's going to attack you. Now, once you get armored up and you get your base the way you want it and whatever, then I would, uh, I would suggest going out and trying to uh, kill, you know, like maybe turn, that, turn it off. But when you're starting out, I don't see why you would even bother doing anything other than being in, in, uh, in, e in uh, what well, they call it, calm mode, passive mode, easy mode, whatever. This is uh, how it should be anyway. The creatures aren't going to hurt you unless, they, unless you, uh, you attack them first. Anyway, we got to get to the east before it gets too late. Because i got to go get some, uh, some clay. Now, my tree that I was at... Oh, no, you haven't seen me on that tree yet. I don't think. The tree I want to go to has a lantern hanging from it. And that's where originally all that hedge garlic was. And it was the only hedge garlic I could find on the map. But after this last update, they added hedge garlic up there. They added hedge garlic over there. It's everywhere. Which is nice, because I was looking for hedge garlic forever. And now it's everywhere, which means my resource video would have been would have been uh, useless. Like I had my resource video almost done, but there are so many resources in this game that it was taking me longer than I expected. And then when they wiped my my save, well, they, I, they, I'm sure. See, I've been told that it, it wasn't on intentional, like it wasn't um, by another another YouTuber. Who gave me an idea on how to fix it, but I don't have the file that I'm, I that I need to fix it. But he said that uh, his his file was uh, was fine, that he didn't have any issues. But I don't know, man. Okay, so I I need to get down there, but do I want to jump it? I I can get down there like this, maybe maybe. If I die, I'm gonna be bummed. I better, not, I better be able to make that. Can I make it? Oh, no. Here we go. You ready? Ah, here we go. Oh. Ho -ho. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Cool. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. All right, we're back to our little uh, our little stone armor uh, forger. Let's go down this way. We're almost back to our origin point. That means we're almost halfway there to where I want to be. 
If I had wings, I'd already be there, guys. That's how, that's how cool those wings are. You got to have a wingsuit. You got to have it. 100%. It just takes a minute to get it. That's all. And I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? That's what this is all about. Oh, God. You got to make that jump. If you don't make that jump, you lose everything. <laughs> and my only... And my base is way the heck back there. So if I die right now, it's a long walk back. Like, my advice to you is to make beds early, make them often. So do as I say, not as I do. I just know the game a little bit, so I, 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 I take chances that I shouldn't. All right, do we need stuff? Not really. What about wood? I could use a little wood. That's what they said. I could use a little wood. I'm just going to pick up what I can find right now. We're going to claim this tree again. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, drop off some stuff. And then we're going to keep going. The beauty of, um, of being able to move your base, man. You know, because you go on one side of the map, you need resources. And you go to the other side of the map, you need resources. Oh, come on. Let me through. You just move your base. So good. Well, being on foot kind of sucks. I know I sound like a broken record, but I really want my wingsuit. But I need, I need a good weapon to be able to take on the beetles. Because you know what? Ringo's a tough dude, man. Let me tell you. Paul, man, he's no, he's no slouch either. That's all that's left. Shoom. Slide down, baby. Let's go. All right. And claim the tree. Boop. Leave. And call the, uh, the hot air lift. There we go. And down we go. All right, man. Loving it. By the way, I am playing it safe, too. You guys could probably you could probably get the chitin you need and get the wingsuit a lot faster than this. I'm just playing it safe. So I don't waste a lot of time getting killed because I got killed a lot when I first played. So playing it safe is definitely the best bet if you want to get progression. But if you want to have a lot more fun, I would just go out and try to kill things and see how, how tough they are. The beetles are tough, though. When, I mean, when you're going up with a wooden sword, for goodness sake. I mean, it's the, the earliest, uh, that's the weakest weapon in the game. Look at that, man. Here I am. Here's my house. All right, let's just go ahead and dump everything I don't need. What's that? Oh, that's flour. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. That's good. Uh, I got some more seeds. That. That goes there. Got a bunch of nectar. That's good. Let's see. That's going away. That's going away. That's going away. Going away. Going away. Going away now. Do I need to fix this stuff? Nope. Nothing there. So I need some a little bit more nectar. I, I mean resin. So take that resin. Put that away. Here's my three stacks like I do time is it? All right, it's almost dark, so we're going to hang out here for a minute. Um, let me drop down and grab... What am I going to grab? Some seeds, maybe? Maybe some seeds. All right.
I got a couple minutes, so I may as well. Wait. Oh, here we go. Should be good enough. 31. I'm just go ahead and eat some dinner. Get my hunger back up to 80. We'll jump up. We'll go to bed. And then we'll, uh, we'll run out and hit the East Coast in the morning. Oh, shoot. I almost fell off the damn log, man. All right. Hi ho. I feel like Jack and the Beanstalk, man. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the bud of a little man or little one. That didn't make sense. Yeah, it kind of did. All right. Come on. Go, go, go. Put that thing away. Okay. Throw the seeds in the bucket. Six more seeds. Because we burned through so many seeds. I'm going to have to reorganize all this stuff before tomorrow's stream for sure. By the way, oh, yeah, you know what, though, guys? Um, we might have to bust this up into two parts tomorrow because um, I, I, we have to go uh, to an eye doctor's appointment for my wife to check for cataracts. Um, and we have to go to another town. So I have to be there in the morning. So we might do an early stream, might do an hour, hour and a half on this, and then I might come back and do another one in the afternoon. I think that's what I'm going to do. So can we sleep? Yeah, we can. All right. All right. Cool, cool. Oh, I'm going trying to go off the wrong side there. All right, so we're going we're going east. The way we went before. Now, I need to go across this log right here. So I need to angle myself that way. Once again, we're going to go down in the spider, uh, the uh, jumping spider um, hole, I think. I'm going to have to make myself some anti anti venom too. So I'm going to take on spiders. That big albino spider for sure. that log at is it right here if that's my tree that is my tree then I could just go to come this way and go down here to this log it's actually really close we're gonna switch trees though I think actually it doesn't matter because of the way I'm doing it that old logging out logging back in thing
Ooh. Shoop. Okay, we're gonna have to get a little bit creative with our um, with our building here, because uh, where I'm about ready to go is not going to be easy. I mean, it's fine. It's not. It's not really hard. I died over here though, so I'm kind of hesitant, kind of apprehensive. Ooh, look at that! There's bee poop. Gotta love the bee poop. Honey crumble. Is it this way I gotta go? Maybe. Yeah. Look at all these beetles, man. As soon as I get the weaponry and the armor, well, I have, I kind of have the armor right now, but once I get the weaponry, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be Kitan City. Dude, we're gonna be killing all these beetles. Trust me. They're all gonna go down. I just need to get my, I just need to get my forge working so I can get, uh, get a, uh, that metal mace. So we're going down the switchbacks, down to the to the beach here. We're gonna hit the ruins because this is where all the clay is. I might timestamp this so that people can see where all the resources are, um, where I find this stuff. All right, we gotta go over here, where it's shallow. Dragonflies normally just hang out on this rock. Then we drop down here. And right here. Now, this is where I'm going to build, because this is where I died. I can put something there and there. There it is. And now it says I can't build there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put the roof on this thing. We'll put a roof on this. Where's, okay, a leave roof should clip. If it doesn't, I'm going to be bummed. What's going on here, man? You know what I'm going to have to do then? All right, we're going to do it this way then. We're going to do it with foundations on the other side. If it'll let me. Oh, it might not let me. Must be on ground. It is on ground, you fool. All right, in that case, we're going to go like this. We're going to go with um, an angle for the dangle. Like a bridge over troubled waters, baby. And then we're going to go like this. Roof there, if it'll let me. It might not let me. That's fine. You know what we're going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump it. Woo! It really is not that big of a jump, but I want to make sure that it's not a problem ever. And then we'll go here. Foundation there all right i saw it i saw it why is it crooked like that though click there it is now if it'll let me do it it'll let me do it this way now hang on why why will it let me do it that way now it's so weird that's okay, though. Now I can go ahead and go bink, bink. And there it is. There's my bridge. Okay, cool. Sometimes you got to reverse engineer it a little bit. And that's okay. Oh, yeah, this one too, huh? Actually, I can jump this, but I think we're going to try to just put a foundation right here. This is why you always have stuff in your inventory, man, to build with. Until you start gliding, and then it won't matter. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to go ahead and... 
Guess I'm gonna jump this. Oh, I'm gonna die. I can just feel it in my bones. That's a floor. Oh, that's all I needed was a floor. Hang on. I didn't need the, uh, hang on. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's, let's get rid of that. What the hell? Oh, ha. Huh. There we go. There it is. There's my bridge. Okay, cool. And now we're set. But that also means that I'm all, I'm short on, uh, on fiber. So I gotta, I gotta really watch out because if it rains on me, I gotta have enough to make my shelter. So we need to get some fiber. So let's go ahead and chop down something. Or, or we will have an issue. And we don't want an issue. But the clay is all in here. Or it was in here. Did they move the clay? Oh, no, they didn't move the clay. That would be a lot of work. I don't expect them to do a lot of work. All right, so here we go. This is the clay right here, guys. This is what it looks like. Boom. Whoops. Now I can do stone. Stone, I tell you. Hang on. Jump. Hit, jump, hit, jump, hit, collect. That's how you do the high ones. I, it took me forever to figure that out. I was like, how, how are they going to do that to me? How are they going to do that to us? All right. Now we can do stone. There's a lot of clay up in here. However, oh, there was a lot of clay. Did they remove some of it? Hang on. No, I don't think so. I think I'm just in the wrong spot. I don't know about these flowers either. Are these cyclamen? Hang on. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. This is new. Or I've no, maybe it's not new. Maybe I just haven't seen it. Petal seeds and nectar. Okay, so same old, same old. As the, um, it's the same as the, the what you would call it, the um, poppies. There we go. Boy, that word came out hard, man. That was that was rough. All right. There's our clay. When you explore this area, man, just explore it. Every, explore everywhere because. Um, there is a ton of clay in the, uh, in the ruins here. So. Or there was. Did they lessen it? Because there was a lot of clay in here. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Are the flowers seasonal? Um. That's a good question. It might be cool, but it might be a pain in the butt if you're trying to make something. So I don't know. Yeah, you definitely want the uh, this this pickaxe before you come over here, because otherwise you're gonna be it's, it's gonna be taking forever to fix stuff. I mean, to, 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 uh, harvest stuff. Okay. Let me look at my pick. My pick's looking okay. I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and have a little bit more, uh, blackberry jam. Whoa, that was weird. That just popped in. Look at that. Ghost image. That's what I'm talking about. There's very little here that it, that uh, it messes up, but that's kind of one of the things. Uh, they moved some uh, they made some different they made they moved some stuff around. Uh there 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 was a Okay, here it is. That's a lizard hole. There's a lizard right there. It looks like the lizards aren't, um, and this is not a gecko, this is a lizard. 
and so you can go check it out here. And you get, you get, um, you get lizard um, claws from these guys. They're pretty, me they're pretty uh, meaty. They have, they have, uh, and I don't mean like, like uh, resource-wise. I mean, like they have a lot of health. So, but you're gonna need claws for some, for some weapons. Now this is where they, they, I mean, this, no, this sorrel, they added a lot of sorrel onto the map. Like there was not this much sorrel around. I'm glad to see it. Matter of fact, I should probably collect some. There we go. Now we can make sorrel broth, which is going to be warming in the winter, so... Imagine this would be uh, a more challenging game if the wildlife weren't passive. Um, D, you can turn off that, that, that setting. Okay. I have it on, I have the, uh, I have the setting turned on so that uh, we could, we could get some progression done so I could show you the game without getting killed every five seconds. So yes, you absolutely can turn that setting off. So you can absolutely, um, you can absolutely play it like that if you want. Not an issue. No judgment either way. I'm just trying to show out, showcase the game as best I can. And if I'm getting killed every five seconds, I would not get anywhere. If you have a group of people, it's a whole different story. You definitely want to. Yeah, I mean, you don't. You don't definitely want to turn it off. But if you have a bunch of PVPers that want to want to come in and have a good time, yeah, it would definitely uh, make for a good time. Just turn off the, the setting. Or don't turn it on in the first place. You gotta you kinda have to turn it on in the first place. Oh whoops. Alright, real quick guys, let me uh let me see about getting some fiber here. I'm not getting any fiber. I put all the cyclamen in here instead of having other other uh, fiber. That's alright. I'll just head back after I'm done here. Actually, I'm, can I can I put down? The, I can. Let's fix our our stuff right quick. There we go. Didn't cost me anything. Love it, love it. Hear a thunderstorm coming. Riders on the storm. So right now, there's a spot in here though that if you drop down, you can't get back out. So um, without wings, well, you might be able to build yourself out. You might be able to build your way out. Morning, Noah. How you doing? More blackberries, yo. Blackberry jam on the go. Grasshopper man. That's right. All right. Cool. You think you'll, you'll do a non-passive playthrough at some point? Maybe. Maybe, but it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Hey, Lydia. How you doing? All right. So let me go ahead, guys. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and work. I think I'll, I'll see. Let me see something right quick before I do that. Let's um, look at the codex right quick. And so for the stone oven, I'm going to need 10 stone bricks and five clay mortar. That's not much. And for the furnace, I'm going to need 10 stone bricks. I need heavy chitin, though. Um, so what I need, oh, I need heavy chitin. Let 
We got to kill some things. I got to go back home. I got to make a, a better bow. I got to make uh, fire arrows. And we got to go ahead and, uh, which means I got to kill bees. All right. So let's go ahead and let's, I don't want to go all the way home though. I want to, I want to get, I'm going to have to get a tree that's a little bit closer to this place. Because I got to come back. So, yeah. How far till dark? It's actually almost dark. So let's go ahead and let's, um... Hmm. Alright, let's just do this. The heck? I learned all this other stuff and now it moved all my other it moved all my stuff around. Do I not where's my wall? There's my wall. There's my roof. It's a floor actually, but I don't think it matters. And my, I need a bed. Okay, I've got everything I need. All right. Okay, I can't sleep at this time of day. We just have to wait it out for a minute. Just chill out for a minute. That's fine. We're going to relax for a second. Time to squish some bugs. Yeah, maybe. I need a better weapon though. I can't I, all I have is that wooden sword from the beginning. We got to we got to we have to upgrade big time. So really, let's see what it's going to take. Hang on. Because we uh, if I'm going to make the compound bow, it's going to be in the... It's going to be in the workbench. Kite and axe. Or the recurve, maybe. Silk thread and refined wood. I can do that with no problem. It's a little inaccurate, but it's a powerful uh, ranged weapon. It does 23 to 28 points of damage. Um, it slows me down quite a bit, though. And then the the poison mace is a piece of garbage. It just doesn't do enough damage. It's not a piece of garbage. It just doesn't do, do enough damage. Um, let's see. Where's the recurve? Is it in the stone cutter bench? No. I might try the flint spear. We might try that. 16 to 20. Okay, the flint spear and the flint sword do the same amount of damage. So the flint spear's probably got better range. So that's probably what we're going to do. Because I don't have enough chitin to make a chitin weapon, so... Yeah, we'll probably go with the flint spear. I'll probably make both, actually, to be honest. Flint spear. Flint sword. Yeah, I can make both, I think. Oh, I need 18 pieces of flint. Hopefully, I've got that at the house. Right, can we sleep now? Yeah. Okay. Rested but hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. All right. All right. It should be more. It's morning time now, right? Let's go ahead and bust this down. All right. Go back the way we came. I'll try to claim a tree that's a little bit closer because we got a lot of stuff I want to grab. I think fire arrows and these these individual um, these individual wasps might be the best bet because they um, they're by themselves, right? Even though they're probably uh, pretty chunky.
Oh, that hurt. A little bit. Not much. Wasn't too bad. Hey, Watchman. Welcome back, dude. All right. We are getting down to the last half hour or so, though, guys, because I think I'm gonna. I think we're. I mean, I've been. I've been streaming for a long time. You know what? I don't know. You know what? These dragonflies might make. I don't know if they give up chitin or not. I'm gonna make this spear, and and we're gonna see what we need. Fire arrows too, though. That tree right there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna claim that tree right there. I think. I may have to build up to it though. But if I can take on these uh, these these beetles, then we're going to be good. So once I can get enough chitin to do the job, then I, I can actually get my wingsuit. I've got everything else I need, I think. Except maybe herptile hide. But uh, let's, let's, go, let's go see if we can grab some more real quick. Do I have any arrows on me? Yeah, I don't have any arrows. I could hit that lizard, but... Probably don't want to. Because I don't know if I can outrun him. I think I can outrun him. Maybe. Grab that bottle cap. Here he goes. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him, boy. One on one. Oh, he killed the he killed the wasp. Oh, I got some chitin off that wasp though. Hey, that's something to think about. Fire arrows. And the wasps. They, although, I'm afraid. <laughs> because look how many wasps there are, man. Right, we'll come back. We'll come back in, uh, when I have some arrows. I don't know how much damage the arrow does. The fire arrows. I mean. Hello, Mr. Green Beetle. Oh, there's cattails over there. I didn't see those cattails before. On the other side of this log down on the on the on the riverbank. Right there, a bunch of cattails. Oh, I don't I didn't see that. I wonder if I can get in there. I wonder what's in there. I, I don't think I've been down there. There's a lot of water there though. Definitely something in there. Something looks pink. Oh, man. All right, we're definitely going in there one day. One day soon. Um, well, this log, I could, I could just walk across this log. Hang on a second. This is an area I've not been in, guys, so I don't know what's in here. So let's go check it out. Cattails have a lot of seeds. I think they give like four seeds uh, per. What is this? Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> oh shit. Scared myself. Okay, so this is just okay, this is just nothing. I gotta be able to come back the same way I I uh, went with these cattails. I thought I saw something pink in here, and I don't know what it is. Right there. What is that? Oh, it's a crocus. I mean, it's a it's a is it a crocus flower or a um. There's some kind of flower here. I wonder. Okay, so this is just placeholder stuff.
Cattails in the swamp actually give seeds, but, I, but I'm not seeing anything here. What's over here? Can I get through here without dying? That would kind of suck if I died. I can't see squat because it's raining. I should probably come in here on a, in a, on a, on a sunny day. Okay, yeah, so here we go. We do have cattails here. So, three seeds. I thought they gave more. Oh, God, get out of the water. Shit, I almost died. I kind of want to see what that flower is, man. It's the flower of death. <laughs> so, this is an area. This must be the other biome. I don't know what this biome is, but... It's a water lily. Okay. Oh, look at that frog. Oh, no. We're not going to we're not going to fight that frog. That frog kick my ass. Big time. Oh, you mean the purple flower is a water lily. What's the white one? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything over here that's worth anything. Except some cattails and that frog. This is a nice warm rain. It must be summer now. The white one looks like a normal lily. Oh, okay. So I don't see anything in here. Now that right there looks like probably the frog hole. Maybe. So we're gonna call this the frog pond. Because it's pretty much all that's in here is a frog. And a couple grasshoppers and some cattails. So that must be the other biome that I didn't know about. Because I just kind of bypassed it. All right. Oh, I may not be able to get through here. Whoops. Go back over that log, I guess. Uh-huh. Sure enough. Of course, if I had my wings, we'd, uh, we'd be gliding down this without a problem. Can I get this way? I think I can go this way. Yoink. Yoink. Looks big enough to eat me whole. It does look big enough to eat me whole. That'd be cool if, uh, if, if, if it swallowed you whole. And then you had to fight your way out of it. Before, it, before it, uh, stomach acid killed you. That'd be great. Bee poop. Honey crumble. Honey crumbles of oats. <laughs> Yo, lol, yeah, great. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I think it'd be fun. All right, we're going to this tree right here. So, is it almost dark again? Oh, it's midday, man. It's just really dark out. I really... Oh, a storm approach to seek shelter. Oh, okay. As I'm going up a, a, a tree, tree stump. Sure, man. Sure. No problem. No problem. I'm gonna go... Oh, God. 
Oh god, don't fall off. Okay, that gave me shelter even though it's a floor on my roof. That's fine. That works. We gotta chill and wait for the storm. We gotta ride out the storm, guys. I'm pretty okay happy with this, though. Do you realize how the, that many people will keep using uh, that term whenever they see uh, uh, the honey crumble? What? Uh, bee poop? <laughs> I mean, it's fallen off of the bee's abdomen, right? So, I mean, technically it's probably pollen crumble. But, yeah. It's bee poop. Any day now. Come on, Storm. Let's go. I don't have all day. This has been almost half the live stream was waiting out these storms. It's a lot of storms, man. It's no joke, though. For those of you who are new, if you step out and I'm and I'm not sheltered, just hang on a second. Just wait for it. Now I'm cold. I'm getting colder. Now I'm freezing and I'm starting to take damage. Look how fast you take damage when you start to freeze. 83. I'm just doing this for science for people who don't uh, don't know. 78. You think I, you think I was kidding about needing to be sheltered? No. I'm going back in. And you're still going to be cold for a minute. I've died because I because I stayed out too long. Come on. I'm still freezing. I may have to take some uh, I may have to bandage myself. I'm still not, there we go, now I'm just cold. Okay, now the storm's over. But you definitely have got to, uh, there we go, now I'm back to 100 health. All right, so. Yeah, you got to shelter yourself. If you don't, you're a dead duck. That's for sure. I've died too many times, man. Too many times. All right, can I get it up here? Can I get to my tree? Does lightning strike? I don't think so. I haven't seen it. Although, I mean, the the ground shakes, like, I mean, because of the thunder, but I haven't seen any lightning strike. And if they put forest fires in here, that'd be a, wow, that'd be crazy, man. You know that? So always keep resources on you for that little lean-to. Yes. That's why I always say, keep a stack of wood, a stack of fiber, and, a, and about a half a stack or a stack uh, of, um, of, of resin. Because you want to be able to, to fix your, your equipment, and you want to be able to make your lean-tos. All right, I'm going to go ahead and claim this tree. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to call the hot airlift so I can drop some stuff off. And re-up on my... By the way, right there, see those mushrooms right there in the distance? There's the tops of those mushroom caps. Um, oh, that's kind of redundant, but you know what I mean. Anyway, there are candles in those, in, in, at the base of those mushrooms with, a, with like a pool of water. And they, they, I don't, there's nothing in it right now. Maybe I should go over and check it out because they, they might have put some in there. All right. So for those of you who don't know, you can uh, you, uh, every time you claim a tree, it moves your Smurf village, right? Maybe. <laughs> um, it moves your your base to the top of the of the tree, whichever one you claim. So you can jump from place to place on the map. It's really cool, man. Oh, now that moved. That wasn't facing that way when I put it down, was it? I don't think it was. I think that moved. That's weird. All right. Anyway, let's go. What are we doing here? I went for clay because I wanted to make the uh, the uh, the oven right, the easy bake oven. All right. Now what we got to do is I got to go over here. Whoops. 
And now we go over to this mill, mill and we make clay mortar, which I need a bug's limp and clay to make the mortar. So I need five of that. So I, I need five limp. I don't know how many limps I've got. A few. I picked up a few. That's why I've been collecting them. There we go. There's two there. Makes three. There's two more. That's five. That's all I need to make my mortar. Right now, these are the only two things you can make in the windmill. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, and then oh, now I can now uh, oh, oh, I unlocked heavy chitin in the furnace. I forgot about that. I can make heavy chitin by um, by putting in chitin in the furnace. I forgot about that. You can bake your own, but see, you need heavy chitin to make the furnace. That's the that's the rub. See, but you can make heavy chitin with charcoal, clay mortar, and ten chitin. You get one piece of chitin out of it. Not great. But, you know, it's whatever. Oh, and you can make iron shards out of bottle cap and screws and charcoal. That's not worth it either. But if you have the extra, why not? You know? Why not? What am I doing? Oh, okay. I was going to go and we we're going to make the uh, stone oven. I just need 10 stone brick. And then we go ahead and go over here to our stone cutter. And stone brick is going to be, I'm going to need 10 flint and 10 stone. So where's my stone? Where's my flint? I have nine flint? Uh-oh. I might not have what it takes. I may have to go down and get flint. We're right on the, we're right where we need to be, though, for flint. So I'm not worried about it. Oh, wait, there's 30 flint. Okay, we're good. And then I just need uh, stone. There's eight stone. What? <laughs> no. I need stone, man. Come on, buddy. Where are you? I got to go down and get stone. All right. I'm almost full of stuff, too. That's okay, though. Um, let's go ahead and eat. That's the last of my of my blackberry, but I have more blackberry. Oh, no, I have four. I have four more blackberry jam. How big is the map, Grumpy Goat? What do you mean you're sorry to ask? It's fine. Um, it's pretty good size. Um, I'm in the process of uncovering it again. It's pretty good size, and this is just the first map. They're going to extend it outward. Um, I don't know what direction, probably all directions. Um, they're going to have new maps, more maps um, as they go with new creatures, new things to explore. So this, this, they've got, they're, they're planning on this game being around for a minute. So it's a, it's a good sized map. But tell, guys, what do you think? How long do you think it's, it would take me to run, just run from one side of the map to the other? 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 40, I mean, maybe an hour? Not an hour, like 30, 45 minutes, something like that. I gotta get some stone. I need flint too. No, I don't. No, I don't. I just need stone. I don't want to go all the way down there for stone though. Ah, bee poop. Oh, help me make some more food. That would be good. Fifteen minutes? Nah, you know, you came in late. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> honey bees, honey bees. Where's my where's my stone? This one are grounded, but you're not sure yet? That's a that's a coin toss. I mean it's up to you. Grounded's already released in full release. This is a this is an early access game, so um, this one will probably be cheaper when they when they release it. I th maybe I don't know. I can't. I'm not going to say guaranteed it's going to be cheaper, but um, it, there's more room for expansion. And and you know, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you, man.
I hit that ladybug. I don't care. I don't care. I kill that ladybug. All right. I think we're going to be able to get our wingsuit tomorrow, guys. Um, I don't know if it'll be in the morning or in the afternoon, since I'm going to do two live streams. But... Oh. It's a party flower. That's a faster way down. That's good to know. I'll have to come left here next time. Come on. Is it almost dark again? Holy mackerel, guys. It's getting dark fast. Well, maybe not. That's right. Because I, I did... I, 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 I... Hey, let's do this. Let's quit the menu. I don't feel like climbing that tree. It's faster for me to do it this way. Even right up close, it's just faster to do it this way. So those of you who are like it'd be more it would be uh, more challenging to not to have the the creatures attack you. Um, uh, this peaceful mode is what I've been playing. The creatures will not attack you, but they will fight back if they are attacked. So you just guys haven't seen me attack anything because I, I I just don't have the weapon for it. Yeah, get them both. Why not? You can alternate between the two as you get tired of one or the other. I don't see why not. What I do is I get this one when it comes out uh, uh, for sale because it's early access. It'll be cheaper and then get grounded when it's on sale. Do you still? I, you know what? That was just a, such a throwaway line, too. You know, I don't have a chicken problem. You have a chicken problem. And... It's just like uh, the thing I'm known for the most. I don't understand it, man. It was one video. All right, let's go ahead and um, I need uh, to make stone bricks. I need 10 of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we should be able to make it. Let's make it. There you go. There's a stone oven, but I need I need two levels here for the stone oven to fit. So what we got to do is now we got to get creative. So it's gonna go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna we're gonna go pop pop and collect this, these resources, and then we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go a wall. Not a window, but a wall, because I want to. If it'll let me. Well, you're not going to let me. And then a window here. And then a wall here. And then... A window here and a wall here. Actually, no. Let's take that out of here. Collect this. Stop, stop with that. That's for sure. Do that. And then we're going to angle this up. Let's go with an angle. I don't know where the triangle is on this. I'm sure it's somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I, I did it this other way on uh, on my other my other game. I did it like that. Oh come on, why is that crooked, dude? There it is. There it is. All right, and then we're going to go with a uh, square and a square. 
And then I'll go ahead and lay down. I can put a window there, maybe. Alright. So I gotta find the triangle. I don't know where that triangle is. So if, any, if anybody ever figures out where that triangle is, let me know. But this is still covered, so it still it still counts. So go like this, go interactive. Let's go with the stone oven. And now I just put it or a chair. Here's my oven. And I have all these new recipes, all these new recipes. Small folk casserole, strawberry cake, blackberry cake, herpetide roulade. Um, and there will be a taming recipe in here once I kill one of the bosses. So you got to have it if you want to tame your creatures. Or one of them. So it's all chickens and, ha chicken, chickens and hammers, man. I need a hammer. You are a hammer. All right, we're going to move the cauldron. So, like that. Pull that. Put the cauldron right here. And then, pull that. Put the fire right here. There we go. And now the kitchen's been moved. All right. So we're going to we're going to we'll eventually move uh, we're going to have to move this out and move all this stuff back for the for the uh, forge or for the furnace. So, and why is that so much further out than this one? I guess I'm going to have to get rid of that cuz I don't need it, I guess. That's weird. That is weird. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. <laughs> that's so strange. Okay, that's fine though. I'm a cooker man now. I am. I am. We got to be a cooker people, a person, because um, come winter, we're gonna have an issue. We need. Um, we have to have uh, food that'll warm us up, because otherwise we're gonna freeze to death, and we can't have that. Uh, I need to make bigger chests too. Also, I'm I'm like it's all scattered and everywhere, every which way. So. Five, four, three, two, one, and then let's see that that. I know I've got a poison gland here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I can put those in there. And oh, I have a bunch of seeds in here. This is good. Where's that poison gland go? There it is. And I'll put that in there. Now I've got two chitin. So let's go ahead and let's, talk, let's th think about making a making a better weapon, huh? Huh? We'll see if we can take out some uh, some of these guys. So it's going to be a flint. We're going to try for the. Is it going to be the flint? Wait, how much chitin do I need? I only need. Wait, no, I need ten chitin for a chitin axe, which does twenty to thirty damage. Uh, but let's go oh, wait, fire arrows. Hang on. How much insect fur do I have? I need to I need to take out wait, wait, Let's get the spear working and then I'll take out some bees Where's this kite? Where's this? Where's this flint? Where is it? Oh god, it's it. It's not nighttime day. It's morning. Okay. God. It's just raining all the all the time man. Flint spear. Okay, I need four refined wood. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, let's grab the seeds, like I said. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make a flint spear. And yeah, I think the flint spear will be fine. I hope. Let's see how it let's see how it how it reacts. Let's put it where the axe is and then wait that's not it 
I'm gonna put this away. Put that there. Pull that out. Oh wow. I just hit something by mistake. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Uh, with this, with my stamina. Two, three, four. That's four stabs at... At 16 to 22 damage each. So that's going to be around... What? I don't know. That's, uh, let's see. What, let's see what about... Oh, I need the apothe apothecary station. Oh, no! I forgot about the apothecary station. Hmm... All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to freaking put it, like, right here for now. We need to make that apothecary station because I need the stamina potion. So, I need ten refined wood and five bark. That's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. And then I should have another refined wood somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Grab my other seeds. Oh, I can do that. That'll give me four more. Let me grab another stack of wood, too, while I'm here. A well, partial stack, anyway. There we go. There's a big one. And then... That's ten. Apothecary station. Where are you, buddy? And then five bark. We just got bark. Not too long ago. There it is. All right. This is kind of big, but I guess I can put it right here. All right. Apothecary table. Let, let, let you guys get a good look at it. There you go. All right. So poison resistance. Poison antidote. Um, that's where your boiled uh, poisonous mushrooms come in, guys. Let's see. Leather, health elixir. Health elixir. Uh, stamina tonic is what I'm... Oh, this wild strawberries. God dang it. The greater stamina one, though, is blackberries in petals. This is actually the better of the, of the three. Because you have lesser, you have the stamina tonic, and you have the greater stamina tonic. Blood potion. Um... Temporary substantial boost to movement. So this actually uh, gives you 8% movement for 45 seconds. This blood potion. Remember we got those mosquitoes? We got those blood sacks? So that, so with that and your, and your other uh, armor, you should be able to move really quickly. Like really fast. Now, uh, how applicable that's going to be, I don't know. I don't know. So... But let's go ahead and let's uh, let's go stamina tonic. Uh, I need blackberries and petals. And what else? What's the other thing? Blackberries, petals, and something. Oh, and seed oil. Ugh. But I only need one though. So there's my petals. And I've got blackberries floating around. Are they in my inventory? No. There we go. Twenty-eight of them. All right. Let's go ahead and let's make a. I can make a health elixir too. That's nectar, petals, and seed oil. It gives you a, a decent amount of health. It gives you 20 health over three seconds for the health elixir. So that's a considerable amount. So we'll go greater stamina tonic. I'll make that. And can I make another one? We'll make another one. We'll make two. And the health elixir, I'll, only, I'll make one just in case I get in trouble. All right, so we got this... Let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to go, uh, this is a greater uh, tonic. We're, we'll put that in the three button. And then my health, my oh, my, that's my oh my god, something went wrong button is in the four slot. Let's eat because I'm hungry. Let's go down and see if we can kill some bugs. And that'll be the end of the stream because I want to I see if I can kill some bugs. 
with this right now? And um, I think I know the answer to it, though. <laughs> I think the answer is no. But uh, take me down to the root level, please. I think I need the sword. I, I don't think the spear is very good. We're going to find out, though. There we go. Article 5 is flexing again. Your house is too nice, bud. My house is a 120-year-old ancient piece of garbage. But you know what? We're five years off from paying it, or five years from paying it off. So you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with it being a piece of garbage. All right, here's two. This is my spear. There is only one like it. All right, come here, you. Come here, big boy. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to grab a stamina potion right quick. I'm going to drink it. Oh, God, that took forever. Killed him. Got another one. Okay, we're in business, yo. We're in business. Killed him in one shot. This is great. This is good. One, I mean, what I mean, one, one shot is one, one boost of stamina. Yeah, leg it, leg it, leg it. I only get one, um, but my, I've got, I get one more hit out of this because of the stamina potion, though. Because it was only four before. No, it was five. Wasn't it five? Let's go ahead and use a, a little uh, bandage, a little simple bandage, get my health back up. Oh, where, oh, where can my beetle be? I'm going to stab you in the eye, baby. Okay, this might get dangerous because there's four of them. Wait, let me get this guy. By the way, because the stamina potion's still working, I can sprint without almost without a. Uh... Hang on. Ah, he bit me. Thought I had him. Whoa. Got him. Okay, we're in business. We're in kiting business, guys. I did 77 points. Okay, so using a power attack by holding down your right mouse button, um, definitely that's a two-hitter on this beetle before he can even react. Super good stuff. Super happy about that. It's amazing. So I can two-hit this beetle with this spear. If I use power attacks. Oh, God. Unless he moves like that. Maybe three. I only lost two health. Okay. I'm, go I'm down, man. This is good. The spear is much better than my wooden sword for sure. All right. So, this is what we're going to do, yo. How much chitin do I have now? Where is it? I have ten. I need thirty for my for my art for my my wingsuit, guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead. And that's gonna be the goal tomorrow. Is we're gonna go. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna we're gonna uh, attack beetles, and um, and maybe. Oh, well, I'm gonna need some bees, some bee heads. So let's see about. Let's see about. Can I get some bees that are like close? Uh, I need a I need a bow. I need arrows for this. Unless I can. No, that's not gonna work. 
There has to be a way to get uh, get these guys without without a bow. If I can get them to come to me, then we're going to be good. Yeah. The spear is much better. Much better, much better. Ooh, bee poop. Okay, here we go. Are those wasps? I don't know if those are, if those are wasps. Those are wa or those honeybees. I think this is a honeybee. I think we're good. This might get dangerous, though. I might die right here, guys. Nope, sure didn't die. Only got one bee head for my for my trouble. Really? Whatever, dude. That's right. Now we're talking. Now we're in business. Now we're in the game. Hey, Maps, how you doing? Now we're in the game. Now I just need to get... Um, I need to test this on these uh, wasps. What do you think, guys? Should I test it on the... Wait, hang on. Let's do this first. Let's fix everything, because you know I got attacked. Okay. Now my armor's back up to snuff. Let's go down and see if we can attack these wasps. Because if they're no stronger than the other... Than the bees... They probably are, though. If I get a bunch of them at once, then I... Oh, God. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no, no. I think I messed up. I think I'm going to die. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Might be okay. Uh, I think I got this. It reminds me of when I, when I go went bouldering as a kid. And by a kid, I mean in my 20s. Rock climbing, too. Same, same, same diff. All right. So, that's a big-ass honeybee, yo. Is that a queen? What is that? I think that's a queen. Hang on. I'm gonna walk up behind the sword and then poof in the butt. Mm, in the butt. Don't mind me. I'm gonna sneak up behind you and poke you in the butt. Poke you in the butt. Poke you in the butt. See how he backed off like that? That was so weird. It was almost like it was, uh... Yeah, this, could, this could get ugly, like, real fast. I think that one's bigger than the rest, right? Am I wrong? That's a bee drone. Oh, I killed him. Oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm taking damage. I need heads. Heads have got to roll. I need bee heads. God dang it. How many bee heads do I have? Just one? Man. Is it almost dark again? What the heck, man? I was having fun. These days are too short. Time flies when you're having a good time. All right, so I'm going to get my stamina potion and drink it. And Oh, should I go after this big this big green bastard and see what happens? He's probably going to kill me. This is probably not Okay. Come on. There he goes. Killed him. That was three chitin. Okay, so they they give up chitin, huh? I almost died, though. That wasn't good. I'm going to use that potion. That'll give me my 60 over the course of three seconds. That's great. That's perfect. 
This one looks like he's coming for revenge. I'm curious about these. The before we we end this live stream, I want to. I want to. I, I gotta go talk to these wasps. And I don't mean white people. I bet you I can kill the geckos now. Hey there, liquor. What you got, cooker? Oh God, this. Okay, that, maybe I was wrong. Oh, whatever, dude. That worked. I mean, I think that the, um, let's go ahead and use some bandages. I think that the wasps are, okay, it's getting nighttime. I don't trust the, uh, trust these guys at night, so maybe we'll work on this tomorrow. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to quit the menu. I'm going to confirm. We're going to jump back in just to see. <laughs> Funny wasps. Yeah, article got the joke. All right, so we're going to select. I'll go peaceful mode again. Start. Yeah, I gave Herptide hide. It did. And that's just a flint spear. That's I mean that's not even that's not even the best weapon in the game. I mean the, the best weapon in the game is the uh, in my opinion is the is the the metal mace. So that's really cool that that worked out like I wanted it to. Let's fix all this so I don't forget for tomorrow. And then what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to have an early stream in the morning um, well, before before uh, the wife and I leave out uh, to go to her doctor's appointment. And then I will um, and then I will go live in the afternoon unless I'm super duper tired. And I don't know when it will be because and that's in the afternoon my time. I don't know when it'll be because I don't know how long it's going to take us to for that appointment and it, get there and back. It's an hour each way. And then it's a, and then it's going to be like a couple hours at there, and her appointment's like at eight thirty in the morning or something. So we got to leave out of here at seven thirty, which means that if I go live at five, then in the morning, like I had been, you know, way back in the day, then I could be done by six or six thirty. So that's what we're going to do. I think I'll just shower and make sure I have my my travel clothes on before I start. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming in. This has been a five-hour live stream on the very beginning of this game. And as you can see, it takes a, it takes a little bit of time, If even knowing where everything is. Um, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you all had fun as well. Um, and hopefully you all will come by and check check out the next couple of live streams with this while we, uh, we go and then eventually fight bosses and things like that. It's going to take a while for us to get all that done. But anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. Like I said, if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. And if I've earned your subscription today, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me, be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. I love you all. Thank you very much for coming in. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.